She's making pudding. <laughs> she's, she's just really into things. Is she pregnant or something? Howdy folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And we're back on Dexter. Yeah. Season 3, a whole new season. Love it. Where did we leave off last time? Dokes is dead. He got blown up, you guys. They blew him up in a shed. Crazy Lila. Crazy Lila. She's also dead. Not mad about that one. <laughs> it was just a... I did not anticipate Dokes dying so early in the series. He was starting to become one of my... Not my favorite characters, but one of my more likable characters. Yeah. I like Dokes because of his foil with, you know, going after... He knew what Dexter was. He could sense it. And yeah. I like their their interactions were always interesting in that fact. Like Especially that one scene where Dexter's doing his inner monologue and Dokes goes, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was probably the best scene. <laughs> He's like, that I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> I meant to bring it up. But the episode where he has Dokes captured, but the drug dealers come mm -hmm. and they have to work together. Yeah. I thought that was really good for them to like working together, put their difference aside just for a split second. Right. And have this awesome teamwork moment and then go back to Dokes being back in, as a prisoner. I right. thought that was a great scene in season two. So yeah, Dokes is gone. So we might have some new characters, right? We got some shoes to fill. There must be. Yeah. Oh, right. and you know who we also lost? I mean, we didn't lose him because he's still alive. But the FBI agent. Yeah, Lundy flew Lundy, away. yeah, darn it. Had to go track down a serial killer in Oregon. Yep. Yeah. So we should we should see some new faces this season. Yeah. I'm hopeful so, uh, for more murders. <laughs> okay. In a in a non weird way. <laughs> she likes murderers. <laughs> and uh and hopefully not so much like Dexter being caught scenario sort of situation, but Fun fact about this season, uh, Michael C. Hall, who plays Dexter, mm -hmm. and Jennifer Carpenter, who plays Deb, got married. And they were married for the remainder of the Are they still married? The series. No, I think they got a divorce in like 2012 or something like that. Weird. Yeah. Brother and sister. So yeah, I think it was, in the, I think it was during, between seasons, they got married. I think they were dating last season, and then they, they tied the knot. Well, that's interesting. I mean, they do have good on-screen chemistry. Yeah. Um so, yeah, okay, that's weird. So, yeah, just a little behind-the-scenes info there. Super, thanks. Yeah. So let's watch Dexter. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Dexter's the coolest, so come watch it with yeah. us. If you want early access to our Dexter episodes a week before they hit YouTube, check out our Patreon link. It's down below. Get early access to all our videos on YouTube, full-length commentaries, and more. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Dexter, Season <laughs> 3. <laughs> let's watch it. They also made it a point to meet new people. Five? It's already filled five. Starfish. Just came around pancakes, Sexter. She's growing up. Starts with pancakes. It starts where it starts. There's Charlotte. Bye, Mom. See you, Dexter. Bye, Mom. Bye. She didn't even get her pancakes. Angel Batista, Bear Claw. Vince Masuka, Lemon Custard. Mm. Better than sex. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> hey, any favor? You think you can uh, proof an article I'm writing for FQ? Forensics Quarterly? Right. Yeah. Now they reached out because I was the LFI. Fleet Forensic Investigator. On the BHB. Bay Harbor Butcher. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Uh, no biggie. I've been published before. Uh, Dear Penthouse doesn't count. Hey. <laughs> All right, Quinn's been in homicide two weeks and he noticed. Notice what? My hair. I changed my hairstyle for the first time since I was eight. Oh, yeah. Short? <laughs> or shorter. That Angel will no longer be Detective Batista. Lieutenant or something. In two days, he will be Detective Sergeant Batista. Oh. <laughs> uh, typos, grammar, something could be clear, whatever. Haircut. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he ditched the van? Time to get the lay of the land on Freebo. He probably gave it to Rita, and then he bought himself an actual car. <laughs> I need a hit. Jeez, Tegan, I'm transacting here. One, two. Did you hear what I said? F off, Tegan. Fine, I guess your dick can suck itself from now on. That's fair. What? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm entirely confident you've earned the privilege of being repurposed as fish food. Narcotics raided this place at noon today. The drug rats won't return to their nest for a while. Raw. You like it raw? Excuse me? <laughs> it's sugar. You like the raw stuff? Freebo, get back here! Who are you? Who are you? What the f happened back there? I went to kill Freebo and ended up killing a total stranger. Oh no. God created pudding and then he rested. I hate pudding. Pudding of chocolate. Manna from heaven. <laughs> what are the kids going to do for dessert tomorrow? Pudding's gross. Benta, do not call. It's three in the morning. Not in India. <laughs> Should blow out the candles before you go to bed, though. Especially when you're laying that close to one. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up with your hair on fire. <laughs> Miguel Prado. He's at ADA. He's been on a mission to put away as many bad guys as he can, you know? A safe Miami is the only Miami. Why does he look so familiar? So he just murdered a, a district attorney? The other guy is Ramon Prado. Miguel's middle brother. He's a lieutenant with the sheriff's department. And Oscar. Prado? As in baby brother. Oh, no. So about wrong place at the wrong time. Tell me about it. He killed a potentially good guy. Mm -hmm. Someone really stepped on his dick with this one. <laughs> I mean, how difficult would it be to, like, literally step on your dick? Depends on how big it is. So for you, not too hard then. Is that... What? That was a compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> evidence indicates this was no hit and run. It was a uh, furious, close in battle. Whoever, where's it, whomever? Whoever Scott. Whoever did this got in a lucky shot or was uh, really good at handling a blade. According to stating the obvious, Lieutenant, I like free will for this. Me too. Morgan. Yes, ma'am. What do you want in return? For you to remember that I did you a solid. The new guy, there's something fishy about him. Well, Internal Affairs is going after him. Are they, or is he like an inside man for them and they're just like pretending? And I don't know. But he saves lives. Do you save lives? So you catch bad guys? <laughs> well, not directly, but I help. Do you have a uniform? Uh, lab coat. A gun? No. He's got a badge. It's a laminate. <laughs> you should have bashed a head for him. <laughs> <laughs> I was so bad you're crying? No. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Morgan, this is Miguel Prado. I need to see you. Right away. I don't want to see Dexter. Why would a blood spatter analyst spend time searching the sheriff department's database for information on my dead brother? Oopsie. Like you, sir, I wanted to understand what happened here. I thought that... I've taken up enough of your day. Thank you. God, he keeps it so cool. And he's just lying out of his ass. <laughs> Big bucks because Oscar Prado, the pride of Little Havana, was a 
junkie. Oopsies. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> there goes your promotion. <laughs> She's been in better moods. Yeah, I didn't exactly brighten her day. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, excuse me for doing my fucking job. Be aware of my surroundings. Take the temperature of the room before I open my mouth. I know, it's a bad habit. I admit it. <laughs> well, look on the bright side now that you're giving up men, booze, and cigarettes running your mouth's the only bad habit you have left. That's right. I'm a model of fucking perfection. <laughs> 7.30, I'll buy your first drink. Think Deb was onto something? Yeah. 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 Can I get another cranberry juice? That makes three problems down under. <laughs> Jeez, I like the f***ing taste, okay? <laughs> problems down under. <laughs> What's cranberry juice supposed to help? UTIs. Uh, you have a brother, Dexter? <laughs> oh, a sister who just called your brother a junkie <laughs> right in front of your face. He does have a brother. <laughs> oh, sh yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> Hope you like tequila. <laughs> Me? I'm moving on. I'll have to explain that to Deb. She's not going to be happy about that. All I want is chocolate pudding. And you. Not necessarily in that order. All I want is chocolate pudding and you Ooh. not necessarily in that order <laughs> what is it she got to kill your father so you can become your own man kind of bullshit yep literally and that's exactly <laughs> what it is i'm sorry i didn't notice your haircut <laughs> so what is it is it too short too young too dorky what it's beautiful beautiful you just said beautiful <laughs> no blood. I'm the blood guy. Why call me in? Because of this. Ooh. Looks like our evildoer had an agenda. Tegan. Freebo's girlfriend. Looks like he's still in Miami. She's making pudding. <laughs> Jeez, she's just really into things this week, huh? Is she pregnant or something? Hold the elevator. Hold. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> <laughs> She's not feeling the love. She's like, how come people like him but not me? Now it turns out you're a bitch. She knows why. Yeah. <laughs> this music again? Chocolate pudding again? What? I've done this before. What do you mean? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Explains it. Read Tricks, that one. Chick's that horny. <laughs> <laughs> She's got extra hormones helping her out. <laughs> All right. Well, you sniffed that one out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Sounds about right. Yeah. So, we got a uh, new development this season. Other than Rita being other than, pregnant. Other than Reba, right? Rita being pregnant. Yeah. Another crime that's revolving around Dexter's knife. Oopsies. Right? A familiar face. I don't know if you recognize Jimmy Smith's. Who? The Prado. Oh, the... Miguel. The, yeah, yeah. The DA. He's kind of a big time TV actor. Yeah. He was big from NYPD Blue. I never watched it because it was like when I was little, but I remember his face. He's also in Star Wars. So where do you think we're going this season? Other than the, obviously, they're going to be prepared for a baby. A baby, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Interesting that this is going to be a lot, the season's going to be a lot of Dexter letting go of his father, right? Yeah. Trying to move past his father and as become he becomes his, his yeah. yeah, as he becomes yeah. his own father. That'll yeah. be interesting. Well, right. Should we move on to the next episode? Let's do it. Let's watch. Let's watch the two. next episode of Dexter. A Nobel Prize laureate, <laughs> a drunk, president of the United States. <laughs> why do parents take the chance? I've never felt compelled, but why would I? I'm not in the business of giving life. It's for sure. I'm pregnant. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, not the best reaction, Dexter. Jesus. Fake it, buddy. We should talk. Weigh all the options. Together. I have to get to work. Really shitty, shitty, shitty reaction. He doesn't, he doesn't know what to do. He knows how to fake real I reactions. Know, I don't know if he knows how to fake that, though. I didn't realize you were a Buddhist fence. Japanese are traditionally Shinto. Are we? Oh, whatever. I bought all this from my manicurist. <laughs> Need all the luck I can get. Got a crucifix up there, too. Because <laughs> it did so much for Jesus? Because Forensics Quarterly is deciding whether or not to publish my article. You got this. I got this. He's like, I better get this. <laughs> You've got nothing. Except your uh, treadmill. Jeez, just rubbing it in. Kind of a <laughs> are you? <laughs> No, not a name I'd choose. Megan, Mary, those are classics. Thinking about baby names. So. Dexter Jr. <laughs> Reminds me of you, Dex. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. Oh, well then you come for dinner. I rarely take no for an answer. You're gonna learn that about me. <laughs> I will. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I want to pick your brain about something. Unless you were lying, you know, about doing nothing tonight. <laughs> That's a good rhythm there. I got a steaming heap of crap all on this case. I've gone through every thumb sucking ball sack of a pimp I know, every whacked out hooker. You are my last ditch ass effort. Damn, you got a mouth on you, woman. Yeah, she's got away with words, doesn't she? <laughs> That's cool. Show me the picture. She strings them together in such eloquent ways. <laughs> well, you know what? It smells like armpits in here, and I got a lot of work to do. Well, you know, there is more to life than policing. <laughs> so I've heard. Smells like armpits in here. <laughs> I am accustomed to that smell. What? That's what this room smells like after you've been sitting in it all day. It's not armpits. <laughs> you guys have a beautiful home here. Great place for kids. Come on, I'll give you the tour. Welcome. I shouldn't drink. What, are you pregnant? You are. Oh my god, that's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Or not. That, that sounded really bad. <laughs> I don't want to force Dexter into something. I mean, that's kind of what happened with the ex-husband. Well, that and the fact that he was a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely draws a very specific type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he looks like he fits. <laughs> Jesus. Man, I miss college. You did not experience any sort of college like that. <laughs> She's hoeing off campus, probably living in her hoe pad. How about you give me the address of her hoe pad so I can go tell her what a hoe bag she is? Do you have any party favors? Oh, uh, yeah. So we put out. We totally do. <laughs> All right, that is so totally off the hook. But how about I just uh, trade you for Tegan's address? The leaders of tomorrow. Their parents must be proud. Fret parties actually like that? I just don't think so. You need to get out more. <laughs> too old for that sh <laughs> <laughs> I was too old for that sh when I was that age. Like. <laughs> Cons? Noise. Time, money, stretch marks, saggy boobs. This personal freedom. Pros, babies are the cutest, <laughs> right? Like, they're the best. Except for they keep you up all night. Yeah. But that doesn't last forever. Yeah. Only 18 years. 
Connors are sleeping right now. Hi. Paperwork's gonna take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. It's fantastic. It is. My little girl is the best thing I ever did. I've messed up a lot, but in my darkest hours, Audi's my light. You wait and see. Okay. Thank you. I feel better. Play with us, Daddy. I'm right behind you, buddy. You're it, baby. All the kids are still the same age. <laughs> Cody and Astor would be older, you know. Oh. I liked them this age. Astor! Astor! What have you done? I guess I can imagine his apprehension, I suppose. <laughs> you make a little more money on all fours than you do as a cop, mamita. Oh, I'm like, I haven't heard that before. Hey, look, little one, <laughs> give me a name for this girl. I won't bust you for being a piece of All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought that I could turn her out. What's her name? I don't know. Bitch. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny, that's horrible. <laughs> My first stab at Freebo had gone as planned. Oscar Prado might still be alive. Miguel wouldn't know who I was. Tegan would have lived a hoe another day, and Deb wouldn't be chasing a Jane Doe. Slam dunk in court. Is there a chance? Not even remotely. Good. <laughs> Congratulations, the shrine worked. <sighs> totally. What <laughs> an idiot. When all of this is behind us, I want to get together. The three of us. You know, as friends, it's as long overdue. Yeah, don't even think about sleeping with another... <laughs> well, I guess the first one wasn't married, but... All right, people. We're going to be working late on this. I'll be working late, too. Who finds Freebo first? Dexter, obviously. Probably. Hopefully. He's a few steps ahead of them. Oh, there he is. Freebo. Hiding out at his dead girlfriend's oh, house. Fast. Risky. M6 bayonet. Vietnam era. A family keepsake, maybe. Oscar tried to kill Freebo with it. It's only fitting I use it to complete the task. decision Dexter I've weighed all the pros and cons and all I've got are cons I've been thinking the same thing I'm keeping it I've made a lot of mistakes in my life but being a mother was never one of them but I've been a single parent for a long time now and I think Astor and Cody proved that I'm pretty damn good at it this child is happening but your role in its life is entirely up to you yeah, try focusing on killing somebody now, right? <laughs> <laughs> is he still walking? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. He's, oh, good. He's got pants on now. What the hell is this? <sighs> Show and tell. It's been so long since you killed them, I was afraid you'd forgotten. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. 
Dexter! I had the phone records. What? What? Is he in there? Alive? It was self-defense. I'm gonna tell you something. I wasn't sure that I could do this. But you did. You did. No, no, you should leave. No. Now. Plausible deniability. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, jeez. Dexter got there first, but he wasn't fast enough to get out of there without being found. Yeah. And now the Gale Prado knows that he killed him. So what do you think? Ay, ay, ay. That sets up the season right there, those first two episodes. First episode I thought was a little slow, but this one was like, oh, shit. <laughs> already. <laughs> Yeah. It's already happening again. Mm. Freebo's taken care of, but now... Uh, yeah, now you've got this whole... Miguel is seen into... Uh, well, he's seen... He doesn't know what he's seen, but right. he thought you know, Dexter was helping him out. But mm -hmm. where do you think we go from here? I don't know. Feels like a man like Miguel won't be able to live with that yeah. easily. So Knowing that the guy who killed his brother, yeah, who he thinks killed his brother... Was killed by somebody else. Right. right? How's he going to tell his other brother it was dealt with? I don't know. And all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. It's quite the conundrum. <laughs> and what do you think about uh, Rita's decision and Dexter's I decision figured, to come? I figured she would make that decision and just... And I, Dexter's an upstanding guy, so... Yeah. Her murderer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think in his heart he... Likes the idea of having a yeah. child. He's just afraid of what will become of that child. He's, he's already thinking of names, right? Yeah, exactly. That means you're, he's thinking about having mm -hmm. it, right? And uh, I think that conversation he had with Angel yeah, kind of brightened his, uh, mm -hmm. his outlook. outlook on it. Yeah. He's just going to be fighting that thought of, oh my gosh, this kid is going to be just like, what if this kid is just like me, you know? Yeah. And what if I turned into Harry and try to turn him into a monster too, right? right? Kind of thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what's going to happen with the whole Freebo case, though, right? Because the whole department, the whole homicide is looking for him. Mm -hmm. They're going to connect the dots sooner or later and get back to that house. Is he just going to fall off the face of the earth, do you think? Maybe they'll find him dead? Yeah. Well, what should people comment about? How about this? What should Dexter name his baby? Give us your best baby names in the comments. And not any spoilers, because I know some of you already know what the name is. I mean, most of you who are watch, watching this know the, the name of the baby. Right? No spoilers. What, what do you think Dexter should name the baby? There you go. Right? Yep. Like, comment, subscribe while you're down there. Yep. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos on YouTube a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Until next time, have a good one. See ya. This is a deliberate insult against me and my people. Come on, come Forensics on. Forensics people. That's, That's what he means. <laughs> people. I don't know. Little scientists, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. Dexter Season 3. We're getting into the heart of it now. Episodes 3 and 4 tonight. Do you remember what happened last time? Deb cut her hair. I totally forgot about that. I didn't even notice Deb cut her hair, and there's a new guy on the force who seems a little shady. Quinn? Yep. Still don't know about him. Yep. Dexter 
killed somebody unintentionally and then killed the person who he was trying to frame for the kill. I don't know. It was just a big cluster. But. Somebody, he admitted to somebody that he killed him too. Yeah, Miguel almost walked in on him doing it. Yeah. Yeah, really stupid. The assistant DA. Dexter's getting worse at this. I, If that's possible, he's right. getting worse at murdering people, so. He's also m- maybe going to be a daddy. Probably going to be a daddy. Mm-hmm. So what, what do you think uh, happens between Dexter and Miguel? I have no idea. Yeah. Don't know how it's going to play out. Right. Just want to watch it. Well, I guess we should find out. Let's do it. Let's watch some Dexter. First, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Thumbs up. Come hang out. Hit that button. Slash it. Dexter's pretty awesome. Yeah. We'll watch other stuff, too. Check him out. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos before they hit YouTube a week before, as well as full-length commentaries for all the videos we're posting. So, the link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Dexter, Season 3. Let's do it. Macaroni and cheese, mayonnaise. You do your grocery list alphabetically. How else would you do it? I try to do mine based on where they're at located in the store. Mm -hmm. My highly tuned senses detect another predator sniffing around one of my cubs. Did you get the mail? Yep. F***ing creeper. All right, what's next? Zucchini. If you did it alphabetically, you'd be bouncing back and forth between the <laughs> store all day long. Right around. <laughs> you'd be in there for four hours. I guess that's kind of the point. If you got the kids doing it, then it doesn't really matter. Work you all PR7. Just in case. Oh, yeah. He's definitely like a child molester or something, right? His dark defender sense was going on. Dark defender sense. <laughs> mix. With an article written by yours truly. <clears throat> Good stuff, very sexy. Simultaneous quantification of... I autographed it, but if you uh, want me to write something personal, just let me know. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm just going to throw that in the garbage. Not exactly the charity type, are you? No. I don't know if Rita will be up for it. Still already talked to her. She'd love to go. And Viernes Cultural it is. They got, like, a couple friend. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new murder victim. Dumped in the park just like our Jane Doe. Some of his skin was sliced off. It looks like Freebo's truck again. All right, let's get there. It can't be Freebo. I killed him. You come with me. But only Miguel and I know that. And we're not at liberty to tell. Javier Garza is a low life pimp. He's the one that connected our Jane Doe to Freebo. Single edged. Same type of instrument used on a Jane Doe. It's like you got a little hungry for flesh this time. Yeah, what the hell is that about? Do we think he's eating it? Mm. There's a lot more cannibalism in this country than any of you realize. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all sound like good theories to me. Way to commit. <laughs> it means he's stepping out from wherever he's been hiding. Not so good for our latest victim, but good for us. Who is it, though? Rita's pregnant. You're lying. She's like so excited. Lying. She's gonna be an auntie. A baby? A mother fucking rolling poly chubby cheek machine? Are you kidding me? Well, I've never heard it described in quite those words before, but yeah. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. Being an auntie's like the best. It's so <laughs> exciting, too. I was looking forward to seeing Syl, and I, and I know how much you love hanging out with Miguel. Miguel. My new bestest friend. Are there any details that you do know? Like mom was killed by a chainsaw, my brother was killed by, well, me, that kind of stuff. No, I don't really know anything. They're looking for more like, you know, birth defects and (laughs) chromosomal issues. I don't think what he's got is a chromosomal issue. (laughs) Dexter, you'll make a good father. You know, if you want to. Dude, like commit, dude, just. You're driving her crazy. Wish she could dance like that. Me too. If good means being part of the team that's never going to catch our brother's murderer, being uh, like Grace's brother. Well, Miguel hasn't told him, so. That's good. 
I understand you soon to be a father. Yeah. <laughs> That's some mixed emotions there. Yeah. Yeah, mixed emotions. Yeah. I don't know what's more complicated, having a father or being one, but just to know you did the right thing, my friend. And it will never be forgotten. He's like, I uh, kind of wish it would be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a DA on your yeah. back pocket? For sure. Huh? Can you what Ramon said to you? I wanted to apologize. That's really not necessary. Showing up late at night like this. Is it creepy or just what friends do? It's a little unsettling. You know, they, they don't know what it is to be a man, to be a son, all of that fucking pressure. Grow up and be exactly the man your father molded you to be and still... Not be good enough! Exactly. Yeah, I think I got it all figured out. All we have to do is get Freebo's body, tell him that I received the, an anonymous tip about where Freebo can be found. That would close the case and we can all put it behind us. He's the bottom of the freaking ocean. But look, Dexter. You're not in this alone, huh? It's you and me. Together. Isn't he still putting the bodies in the Gulf Stream? <laughs> <laughs> well, you better give me something, Anton. I don't like you talking to me that way. I feel some sexual tension here. <laughs> kind of a weird thing to do yeah yeah why would they need to do that <laughs> right it's exactly the same as your brain dex this is would, would so not necessary to have a kid <laughs> how many of these kids dexter had in his life <laughs> the real killer whoever that may be is out there walking free well how's that our problem because justice isn't being served you would think Dexter would be excited to try to find this guy. There's somebody that seems to be a serial killer, right? Mm-hmm. Together. What do you think about cowboys? I like them. <laughs> I love them. No, I meant for the baby spirit. Do it. That's not good. Nathan Martin. Grosses me out. Yeah. Can't wait for Dexter to kill that f***er. <laughs> All of us. This is absolutely, without a doubt, the worst moment of my life. Just <laughs> let yourself dance. <laughs> I was wrong. This is. Be as beautiful as the golden flakes of dust, Dexter. I could the probably hell does kill that her mean? before anyone realized what happened. <laughs> Someone's got to know who she is. No luck. I'm thinking of putting her picture on a milk cart. Not a bad idea. Yeah, except nobody would ever drink milk again. <laughs> I knew I couldn't back down or he'd never have to cooperate with me again. He practically arrested himself. That makes sense to me. You got a problem with that? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so the dope's desk is always going after a Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> I did my time. But I'm not like that anymore. I learned my lesson. I've changed. Yeah, that's why you're just still staring creepily at kids, yeah. I have other problems to deal with besides Nathan. But he's wearing his killing clothes. Isn't it great? Nice. I'm not sure I'm gonna be there to raise the baby. What? I don't <laughs> know if I'm gonna be a father to the kid. It's a father to her other Ow. two kids. <laughs> Of course you are, you moron. Deb. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. How could you even say you're not going to be a father to that kid? And much more important, big dumb brother of mine, this isn't about you. Who is it about? <laughs> Your kid? The baby. Yeah. <laughs> so holy sh**, that's my Jane Doe. It's about time. <laughs> and if you don't trust yourself, trust me. I'm the smart one in the family. This is a deliberate insult against me and my people. Okay, come on, come Forensics on. Forensics people. That's what he means. <laughs> Who the f people? I don't know. 
little scientist, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky break, huh? Seeing that flyer? You make your own luck. Your brother makes the luck for you. I got a gift for you. A gift? Is that a dead body? <laughs> you gave me a uh, peace. Now let me give you peace. Oh, his bloody shirt. Shirt? This shirt implicates me in his death. It's like collateral. I trust you. I trust you. And I want you to trust me. Now they both have dirt on each other. Is it possible I've actually made a friend? Someone I can trust with my dark secrets? Yeah, it's weird, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, dancing's happening. He wrote this for me. You're the puta mala flaca? What does it mean? It's not good. <laughs> skinny mean bitch. <laughs> skinny mean bitch. <laughs> She's the skinny mean bitch. <laughs> Lean into it. Just lean in and do it. Maybe there's another code. A code that says you've stepped uninvited. And that's a place where I decide who gets to live and who doesn't. Nobody hurts my children. I got my heart racing. I thought there was going to be like somebody else in that. Oh, you just got some milk. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that whole milk, though? <laughs> just sending out my positive intentions to our baby. It's what any good man would do. After all, it's a jungle out there. All right. Finally got on board. He's ready to be a dad now. Yeah. I mean, he's always been ready. He's oh, yeah. Been he's, a kid, been, he's, or he's already been a been dad. A dad. He just wasn't putting Cody, that so. together. He wasn't making that connection. I think it finally clicked when he was like, nobody Maybe hurts my like, children, right? Yeah. He's like, oh, they're already my children. Perfect. <laughs> But does that guy fit the code, or would do you think Harry would let that slide since it got personal? Well, Harry would definitely let it slide, yeah. but Dexter's going outside the code now. Yeah. He's not Making subscribing his to his code. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that would be what Oscar's outside the code, Miguel's brother. Mm -hmm. So that's two this season. That's Oscar was kind of unintentional. Yeah. He didn't mean he didn't want to kill him. It was self defense yeah. more than anything. So do you think Miguel is trustworthy? Do you think? Dexter should be I friends with him? I hope so, but I'm getting a weird feeling from him. I don't know if that's just the point. Like, we're supposed to feel Dexter's uneasiness with him. That's why we're. I'm just not sure about him yet. Yeah. Uh, the writing is wonderful. It does a great job. The acting is great. Mm -hmm. They do a great job of kind of making you feel what Dexter's feeling yeah. about people. Yeah. All right. Well, should we jump into the next one? Yep. Dexter and I have something we want to talk to you about. What? We're having a baby. Um, <laughs> you're going to have a new little brother or little sister to play with. <laughs> Which one? Which one would you like? A puppy? You can have a puppy and a baby. But you're not even married. No. No, we're not. Why not? I never really thought about it. <laughs> no, I'm going to... Grab the potato salad so I don't forget. Should we what? Get married. Dex. That's exactly how she wants to be proposed to. Dex. People don't get married because it makes sense. They don't? Would you have asked me? Sometimes they do. <laughs> so? So sharing is one of the rules. Who is rule? You're not my father. 
Aster. Apologize to Dexter. I don't think it's just the marriage. It's the new baby. She said Fesha's not gonna be special anymore. She wasn't special anyway. She's got a brother. <laughs> Damn, your butt's buzzing. Christ. Yuki. That's the uh, internal affairs. Oh. Have you ever felt that way before? Too many times. We can look at some mug shots. Maybe describe the man you saw to a sketch artist. What? I'm staying with Jack. Jack has to go to the morgue. Frontis is going to need her clothes. Well, why don't you tell her? That I, Joseph Quinn, will personally make sure that hat comes back to you unharmed. He's good. <laughs> Who knew? He's like the f***ing witness whisperer. <laughs> One hour spa treatment. I want a better room. Wait, we don't have a better room unless you build one, and being a bitch isn't going to change that. Rita. Excuse me, I'll be right with you. Can't have this conversation again. I know, I'm sorry. This just... is the second time this week. Plus, you're always on a break or calling in sick. I'm mm. really sorry, but I just can't afford to employ you anymore. Uh. Oops. Mm. And when your homicide department gets off its ass and starts doing its f***ing job, maybe then me and my brother will move on. Extra pickles. Tell Carlos I said howdy. <laughs> For a guy that claims to not know human emotion very well, he's, he's, good at he's, he's really right? good at it. Ta-da. Comp tickets to my keynote address at the forensics conference. Uh, not really my thing. I'm fleet combing my dog that night. I'm uh, seeing my little girl that night. You don't even know the date. I, I gotta keep my schedule open for her. <laughs> Why don't we take a break from all this and we'll go look at some pictures together, okay? Okay. <laughs> It'll be an interview through the mug box. I'll set it up. And then, that's okay. I got it. It's got this sexy, sultry. <laughs> <laughs> they say I should glow. Am I glowing? <laughs> you are to me. <laughs> Good answer, good answer. <laughs> um, Rita, if we got married, we'd have joint assets. You wouldn't have to worry. And let's not forget about marital deductions with Aster and Cody as dependents. No, huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> she wants love, he, he's thinking logic. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why logic couldn't turn into love. Plus, they love each other. He doesn't realize that. Well, the compliments are free, but an hour of my time costs. It might be more than an hour tonight. For a couple of hours anyway, I'm not a... Tonight, all night, I am. Oops. <laughs> Barking up the wrong tree. When nobody sees Jasmine that ain't got no cash, you wasting my time, mother <laughs> Oopsies. That was good. Let's get Masuka, Masuka's keynote for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only hopeless one. You and me, buddy, making the woman of America sick. <laughs> donut and a ticket to hear me speak? I'll take a donut. You already got a ticket. You're bribing people to come to your keynote address? Uh, the whole donut thing works for you, doesn't it? The blind leading the blind. Uh, <laughs> donut and a ticket? <laughs> Take one. You're like the foulest person I've ever met. Every line out of your mouth is a sick joke. I'm funny. <laughs> yeah, you can be. <laughs> you can also be completely revolting. And sometimes that's all people say. What do you know? You're new guy. Hey, Dr. Phil, your girlfriend's coming in again to look at more mug books, so. Hi there, Deb. Help yourself. I saved you one with the cream filling. Oh, freak. <laughs> <laughs> now, why am I getting calls from a guy who says he saw Freebo in Miami? I'll tell you why. Because you ignored him. He called you four times. Never happened. Okay, está bien. You give me this tipster's name, I will personally follow through. The mother was anonymous, Maria. Oh, did I forget to leave my name? Sorry. <laughs> Just do your 
fucking job. Chipper. Erica, Rice's killer was approximately your height and weight. You mean f***ing wheat bag Fiona's height and weight? No, I mean... Yeah, my girlfriend. We were connected, you know. Everywhere I went, he was with me. He's gonna steal her line. <laughs> made me real. She believes it. This isn't about Miguel Prado. This is about doing what's right. It's kind of about oh, Miguel. I guess for an answer then. Well, you better be wearing old clothes because the shit is going to be flying in your direction. <laughs> yeah, fine, I'll meet you. You got a favorite bar? Yeah, I know. I'd order me a rum and coke. I'll be there in 10. Weird camera angle. It's because it wasn't Dexter. <laughs> Morgan, you got one tool in your toolbox, and that's a hammer. You can't help yourself. So I played off it, and it worked. He's not wrong. She definitely <laughs> constantly swings her hammer, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's in a lot of pain. Which we can end. Tonight. Dex, please. Just call him. I take no pleasure in manipulating Miguel this way. Still, I think he preferred to my usual alternative. He's making it Miguel's idea not to tell him. Yeah. You see, he's good at that. You partner with him, you trust him, and then sooner or later, you're questioning yourself. I mean, he's such a great guy. It can't be him. So she was like an ex-partner <laughs> or something? Like she was partners with him in the past? It's been slighted by him? Couldn't you, I? I only have one person I can trust anymore. Yourself. I was thinking of you. Oh. Oh, don't worry. I know that trust doesn't come too easy to you. Dexter made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> My life has always felt like an unanswered question. A string of days and nights waiting for something to happen, but I didn't know what. Rita, we're connected. Wherever I am, I feel you. Is that the exact lines that she was using? Always go out for banana splits. <laughs> and replant the lemon tree that keeps dying. <laughs> and I never, ever want to miss a pizza night. <laughs> and that's how I know I want to marry you. <laughs> because something as simple as pizza night's a highlight of my week. Please, say yes. Yes. Yes, we will marry you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was all her lines. He just used it to get it started. Yeah. 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 That was pretty honest there at the end. Yeah. Start talking about lemon tree and pizza net. Right. So. Those were the few things that he personal can, things exactly personal right. touches he threw in there at the end so what do you think i feel like this season's kind of more of like a slow burn mm -hmm. and dexter has a friend yeah. well I, I feel like it's a slower burn because i mean last season was definitely a you're holding on for your life from the beginning because they're yeah yeah you're getting whiplash dexter, right? the whole time man but uh this one yeah it's more of a slow burn it's more of a mm -hmm. we're going through a pregnancy so you got to think of how long Right? That's probably the theme for this season, right? We got we're mm. in the first trimester right now. Sure. Right? Yeah. We're four episodes in. I'm so. I'm intrigued mostly by the Miguel relationship. Yeah. And what will come of that. It seems as it goes, like maybe and again, great acting, great writing. I feel like Dexter is slowly coming around to the oh, maybe he's actually being genuine with me maybe he really mm -hmm. does want a friendship and so i am naturally coming around to that feeling as well like oh maybe he's actually being genuine it's, yeah. it's pretty interesting right. you liked how dexter played miguel to convince himself that his brother shouldn't be talked to yep dexter taking Dexter's some idea. uh some notes from lila there mm -hmm. and using some master manipulation to mm -hmm. get him to see what he wanted him to see yeah. Yeah. they didn't really go over this episode with the skinner which was the episode yeah, before. Yeah, what the hell is with... There's somebody murdering people. Yeah, but they were also connected to Freebo because it was Tegan and yeah. then it was 
was it Javier? Yeah. The other guy that Deb talked to to get. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, geez, is it the CI? Confidential informant? Oh. No, Deb can't go for another murderer. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. just be too much. So. <laughs> so what do you think? So I'm not sure who it is, but I'm sure we'll learn more learn as more, right? the episodes go. Right. Yeah, I don't think. That skinner, that skinning person's going away. So, so these last two episodes, Dexter, last episode, accepted that he's going to be a father, right? mm-hmm. and then this episode he proposed. So he's kind of putting the family together. These yeah. last two episodes, going all in mm-hmm. with the family situation. Good for him. Yeah. Think we'll have a wedding this season. I can't imagine they do a big wedding, but yeah. Just go to the courthouse with the kids. I would imagine it would be more like that. Yeah. Well, who knows? Who's, there's three new characters this season that are kind of part of the main group. Yeah. Who's your favorite out of the three? Let us know in the comments down below. Right? Yeah. While you're down there, like, comment, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Come hang out with us for the next couple of episodes. Yeah. And seasons, because we'll be going through all eight seasons oh, of yeah. Dexter. I'm hooked. We're, and then we got the new season coming out this fall. Anything. So we're going to be wrapped up with eight seasons before that season comes out, hopefully. And uh, we'll have some fun with some new Dexter which you guys will be watching with us. So that'll be, be fun. And then check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos on YouTube a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length movie commentaries and Dexter commentaries and more. So check out the link below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. him right oh it must be ia she's probably the skinner he's the skinner anybody new is probably the skinner it's basically what i've narrowed it down to howdy folks welcome on back to you me and the tv i got it right that time you got it right this time she got it right this time tonight we're watching more dexter season three and where were we when we left off I don't remember at all. You don't remember at all. I knew she was going to say that. I was just thinking about what you were going to say, and I knew it was going to be. I don't remember at all. There's Let's still an um, internal affairs lady trying to get with Deb. That's the one thing you remember? And she's kind of got a thing for the CI. Okay. I think. So you're just focusing on Deb right now. Well, and then Dexter's... Rita is pregnant mm-hmm. with Dexter's baby, and he's just decided that he's going to man up and Not only that. be the daddy. Oh, he asked Rita to marry him, mm-hmm. and she said no. Oh, but then, oh, but then he at then at the end of that episode, <laughs> it changed. <laughs> you remember anything? <laughs> and then at the end of the episode, he had like a really sweet, heartfelt speech that he stole part of from a crazy person. And then uh, I think he added his own twist on there at the yeah. end, and she cried, and they're gonna get married. Okay. So you got all the personal life stuff. What's going on with the work stuff? Is there stuff going on with the work or, uh, stuff? Or at least Dexter's. Oh, there, some guy keeps cutting patches off of people and killing them, cutting patches off of them. They thought mm-hmm. they knew the drug dealer, but nope, wasn't him. Somebody else, because Dexter already killed him. Yeah. So And it keeps happening. What's going on with Dexter and Miguel? Oh, yeah, Miguel. <laughs> Lots happened. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel... Knows that Dexter killed the drug dealer that Miguel thinks killed his brother. Miguel's okay with it because he, it's, he thought Dexter was doing him a favor. Um, and now they're like turning into friends. It's like weird. Yeah. They're like trying to be friends. Miguel is like really holding strong to the fact that he wants to be Dexter's friend. Yeah. So where do we go from here? I got no idea. Yeah. Should we jump right in? Let's do it. All right, yeah. let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out, watch Dexter with us. It's a pretty amazing show, yeah. and we're only three seasons in, so you got yeah. lots of Dexter to watch. Yeah, and if you want early access to all our videos that we post on YouTube, you can get them a week earlier on Patreon. The link's down below. Check it out. Full-length commentaries and more as well. The link's down below. Let's watch Dexter, Season 3. It's like a lamp in a room that's always been there, and now it's suddenly turned on. Everything looks perfectly normal. 
He or she got a knife in there? No knife. Hey! We're playing here! You go kill somebody! Dexter's golfing. I could do us both a favor and look into this wife killer. He's left-handed? Remember, serial killers usually are left-handed. Compromise. Ooh. Sliced it. I don't know if that's a real stat. I keep making that up. <laughs> what? I don't know if he really is left-handed. He's either not actually left-handed or just a really bad golfer, because that was a weird swing. Lying naked on a table, helpless. No thanks. <laughs> I was actually thinking I might keep my place. You were? <laughs> well, I could always sublet it. So, uh, why don't we talk about all of this after we eat? Mm. Miguel's bailed him out. Yeah. I guess I always knew at some point I'd have to give up my place. I just didn't think it'd be so soon. Mm. Every man needs his privacy. But that's why God created golf. <laughs> Yeah, where will he hide all of his murder tools? <laughs> Dexter's like, I gotta get better at golf. <laughs> How can Rita expect me to just pick up and move? This is my home. Yeah, but you want to marry her, right? Like, married people don't usually live in two separate houses. <laughs> better hope she doesn't insist on a place with central air. How much? <laughs> Make it a million. I'll take a check. <laughs> Anyone in there? <laughs> in there at all? I bet you're real good with kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't joke around anymore. He dresses better. He's polite. Now maybe someone pointed out the error in his ways. Who called this in? Neighbors. I just got off the phone with the sheriff's department. They've confirmed their skinning victim is related to ours. Another four-hour <laughs> erection? <laughs> <clears throat> Anything else? I've got Unis bringing in a 15-year-old kid named Wendell Owens. He was Freebo's doorman, which means he might be able to connect the dots between his boss and why people who knew him keep winding up dead. I may be one of those dots. He's a minor. Get consent from a parent to question. Wendell. I doubt this boy would recognize me from the day I met his dead boss. But why take the chance? He's a serial killer. Wendell is? Got a witness puts this son of a bitch on the deck with his wife just before she went missing, and he's still gonna walk. Did I mention he left his first wife's teenage daughter's penniless? No need. A whole family destroyed. How about tomorrow? I may have plans, I'll let you know. There's due diligence to be done. Are they gonna become partners? Like, Miguel is like, I can't put this guy away legally, here you go. And Dexter's like, perfect, I'll, I'll take care of justice, right? What? He's, he's a Twinkie? Mm, no offense, but you're the last person who needs a fuck bag. <laughs> you gonna take the fridge? Times. Man, somebody needs a hug. I'd offer, but I don't know what I'd catch. <laughs> I can take porn loving Masuka. I can even take flatulent Masuka, but this drink. <laughs> Maybe I'm realizing no one around here is my friend. That's not so. We put you on our bowling team. Only because you wanted to keep everyone's handicap higher to sandbag the other teams. <laughs> okay, that's true, but... Not one person <laughs> read my paper. You hurt my feelings. Where's the kid? The mother wouldn't give consent. I had to cut him loose. Why is he out looking for hookers again? He's a her. Oh. I'm in the kitchen. It smells so good. <laughs> More pudding. <laughs> I understand that as man and wife, Rita and I will have to live under the same roof. So why is it the only word echoing in my head is no? No? I'm sorry, no. but I don't want to look at houses. Not now, anyway. Things got complicated. <laughs> she might have mentioned that Rita and she were going house hunting because a certain Gilipollas decided that he'd rather go fishing. Gilipollas? 
You don't want to know. So this is the boat you keep talking about, huh? Well, wow, she's a beauty. Someone dug out a tattoo from the back of her neck, post-mortem, which is another reason why I don't think we're looking at the same killer. Yeah. My lab thinks differently. Let me see. This. He's our lead forensic investigator, and there's no one better. Our victim was strangled, <laughs> the same as yours. You were so busy playing hide the sausage with the Emmy's report, you were hoping I'd miss the cotton fibers in the nose and airways. Your victim was smothered. That's not opinion. That's science. And science is one cold-hearted bitch with a 14-inch strap-on. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> and Rita's back home. You're cheating on her and you don't even realize it. I'll make time for my dark passenger and for Rita. You're gonna have to choose which one is your mistress and which one is your wife. And more importantly, which one comes first? Harry, you missed a spot. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. His hi, mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bay window was nice, but those cabinets. Don't get bogged down in the cosmetic stuff. How did it feel when you were inside? Yeah, but the cosmetic stuff is expensive, too. Rita? I'm bleeding. Waiting for an ambulance is only going to take time. What about Dexter? We'll call from the car. Well, an ambulance would be a bit unnecessary as well. Watch yourself out here, okay? Okay. See you next. Yeah, probably. I've been going through some changes myself lately. Uh, uh. I'm getting married. I got a baby on the way. Hey. Even though my life may never be the same, I want to thank you for reminding me how important it is to take time for oneself. Savor these moments alone. And here I am. Paradox personified. Taking life. Creating life. With the ship anchored away from shore, the Gulf Stream will be Ethan's last cruise. Bon voyage. You have 12 unheard messages. Oops. He f***ed up. <laughs> Just name the date. I'm ready. I would like to walk down the aisle before I start the show. <laughs> Whatever you want. Well, he is um, struggling. He's it's hard, like, it's hard to fake that stuff. That I, stuff. I don't know. He's like bipolar, though. Like he was like absolutely not <laughs> earlier on, and now he's like, whatever you want. You know that guy that I was telling you about, whose wife disappeared on some cruise. Well, get this. He was reported missing about an hour ago. Where was it that you say you went fishing? Mercy Reef. Bimini's, what, 40 miles away? I went fishing, you watched me leave. You were on that cruise ship. <laughs> Do you know how crazy that sounds? You were on that cruise ship, finishing what I couldn't. Wasn't me. You and I, we're the same. No one is like me. You're wrong. Don't you see? What happened today? I gave you the chance to avenge two women whom the system failed, and just like I hoped, did you seize that opportunity? It's not like that. He, like, yes. set him up. No one can. You have nothing to explain to me. Nothing to apologize for. Ever. I'm with you. Why? I'm behind you. Why? And I respect you. When Harry saw what I truly was, he was repulsed. Somehow he looks at me and he's proud. I thought that was gonna unfold at some point. Mm -hmm. I did not expect Miguel to already know and have already like Put planted the seed yeah. for Dexter he, to prove. He put the he bait was out right. there and Dexter bit. Yeah. That is crazy. So in my mind, all I can think is, okay, so either Miguel sees this as, like, truly 
two forms of justice working together mm-hmm. to take out horrible human beings. Or he's like somehow setting Dexter up for like the biggest case of his life. Right? Because if he... To move himself up? Yeah. I mean, it could be like a political move. Yeah. Well, he, uh, maybe he trusts Dexter because Dexter killed the guy who he thought killed his brother too, right? Could be. I mean, yeah. I That's... Yeah. It's just like which one. I'm sure Dexter's thinking the same thing. Like, <laughs> is this a political move and you're going to catch me or and, and i'm gonna trust you just in time for you to ruin my entire life or is this guy for real mm-hmm. and knows what i am and is fine with it yeah. what do you think <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know Can i we ho- jump into the next episode yeah god i hope it's like you just do the justice that i can't do with the law so yeah. we'll be best friends i hope it's that yeah. i just don't know what it let's is let's find out let's watch the next episode of dexter Oh, I cannot even believe this happening so early already. You got him. Here he goes. Ah, come here, come here. Who was a big fella? What did it feel like to uh, to end his life? So much for the simple joys of male bonding. <laughs> you need to jump up cables. It's the kid. Super hard this time. The victim's name was Wendell Owen. He was 15 years old. Wendell Owens? Body's still warm. Putting time of death about three hours ago. Oh, Jesus. Freebo's probably in another galaxy and the Skinner doesn't even know it. Meanwhile, he's stepping up his game. Every patch has gotten bigger and bigger. Do you think the Skinner's drafting off my investigation? Whoever's looking for Freebo is using me to track them. Yeah. Cool. Taking the night off. Mm. Mm. It's him, right? He's the Skinner. <laughs> Deb's caught up with another serial killer. Wouldn't that just be her style? Yeah. I can't rule out that I put Wendell in the crosshairs. You know, he trusted me enough to cooperate, and look what happened to him. Justice comes at a price. One Miguel is about to discover he can't afford. When you're the big deal law enforcement guy, I bet you could get us access. That, that's beyond dangerous, Dexter. That's it's crazy. I knew if I appealed to reason, Miguel would eventually understand the downside. You're right. We both have too much to lose. I owe you this one, Dexter. You stuck your neck out for me twice now. No, you don't owe me. Fair is fair. But we need to come up with a real plan. Again, we. Uh, remember Camilla from records? She's in the hospital. It's not looking good, so I got everyone to sign. Camilla's sick? It sounds like she was a friend. She's a good friend. I, uh... I don't date. Ever. <laughs> Do you eat? Ever? Sometimes. Good nutrition's important. I'll tell you what, Sergeant. I get hungry enough. I will call you. (laughs) Ramon Prado. What about him? Do we like him for the Skinner? Okay, that's not a little crazy. He has access to all of our records, so he knows exactly who I've been talking to. And we've all seen him up close. This is not a stable guy. Or he's the Skinner. I looked into his... Right? (laughs) All the new people. Anybody new is probably the Skinner. It's basically what I've narrowed it down to. I killed Miguel Prado's little brother. Now you want to investigate his other brother for murder? In a nutshell. <laughs> and if you're wrong, everyone involved will be <laughs> blood due to acts I'd rather not describe. Thanks for that, <laughs> And try to be discreet, will you? For a change? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect key lime pie. <laughs> And what do I get when I'm about to grow? Fucking pie crust, ready whip, green jello. I'll see what I can do about finding you the perfect key lime pie.
guessing it would take a long time to set something like that up. It would, but I've already issued the subpoena. Galt will be here tomorrow night. You swing by the courthouse tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you find anything interesting? A set of German steel fillet knives, a couple of straight razors, and like 12 pounds of human skin. <laughs> Just be careful out there, will you? Oh, must be IA. She's probably the Skinner. She's the Skinner? <laughs> She's new. Must be her. You know, after 12 hours on surveillance detail, how about you blow me instead? <laughs> Real reason she's blindfolded. So she doesn't have to watch everything she stands for get pissed on by someone like Ellen Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to say, be careful what you think you know about someone, you're probably wrong. Smart man. Sometimes. Maria! <laughs> I have dispatch call you a cab. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> it was a test. <laughs> Aren't you gonna ask me if I've really turned over a new leaf? It could be I'm just not partial to redheads. I have no idea what you're talking about, Detective. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at 7.30. It's supposed to be the best in the keys. Well, it's not. Pardon my bluntness, but this pie is green. Means I use food coloring. You can do better. I guess that's the risk you run when you go into business with somebody, especially a friend. Makes things more complicated, no doubt about it. <laughs> Lately, not sleeping, terrible mood. I mean, still thinks something's really bothering him. I saw him today. He seemed fine. You may be his buddy, but you're not his wife. And besides, it's not like you can hide anything from your partner. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna bail out of this, now would be a good time. What the hell are you dressed like that for? I know, I see dressed like Dexter. <laughs> I figured the more the merrier. <laughs> why don't we swing by and pick up Rita and the kids? I got no clue why the fuck you dragged me down here in all this humidity, but you can suck my white dick. You think I'm helping your Oh, a sweet talker, huh? <laughs> you walk out the door. One of your Nazi pals is waiting for you in the parking garage. All of the threats to my family, they stop. You understand? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I got a witness in there, man, that's uh, taking a nap. I'm going to really need him fresh for court in a couple of hours. I got to put a county wristband on him. Just take a second. Yeah. I'm your wheel man. Welcome home. Kyle Hitler. Let's get the f out of here. Rides this way. I'll have you out of the country by lunchtime. What's going on here? Oh, no, come on. Gold's right. He's selling you out. Never underestimate the capacity of other people to let you down. It's not the time, Dad. I'm gonna drop you off at your car. I'm gonna meet you at the stash house. That's what friends are for. Hey! Harry keeps being wrong about <laughs> See the Skinner? I don't think so. He's the only one of the new characters I don't <laughs> think is the Skinner. <laughs> I think it's him. Quinn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! You scared the fuck mother out of me. You're the one that called me. What do we got? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> Carbonated waterboarding. Oh, God. He's not the skin. So, why are you calling us in at midnight? We've picked up Ramon Prado. He's, uh, outside kidnapping, false imprisonment, and torture. No, we can't. The clock only says 10.30, 10.25. She said midnight. She's she... ran him out. I'm finally telling you. I'm finally telling you. Do you want to tell me why this IA chick is so gung-ho to bring you down? Wait. 
ex-partner. This IA chick go by the name of Yuki Amano. It's a totally personal vendetta on her part. I'll handle it. I appreciate the heads up, though. There is an upside to the downturn, though. Plenty of empty houses. There's no mark. There's no actual. It's just... No cut. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to let and Miguel watch? Would be happening if it weren't for my friend. I never had a partner before. I had my doubts initially, but everything worked out. But this part, the ritual, the connection and certainty. She doesn't know Miguel's there. Me. And me alone. Now he told Miguel a different spot. Oh. Sure did. Truth is, I'm not ready to share this part of me with anyone else just yet. No sh this, this is the part that freaks people out. <laughs> Even if Miguel senses my deception, he'll forgive me this one small untruth. Text. Because after tonight, I can honestly say, I know who Miguel Prado really is. My first good friend. And those are in short supply these days. All right. All right. Well, partners in crime. Yeah. Partners in murder. Well, Miguel seems to just be friends, best friends with their BFFs now. It's the weird. BFFs, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really sick and twisted BFF game. Still don't know who the Skinner is. Yeah. No clues. Well, it's not. Um, Ramon. Ramon. Yeah, but I didn't think it was Ramon. Yeah. He's the only one I didn't think it The one person you didn't think it was in? <laughs> right. So who is it? I don't know. Who are you narrowed down to? The partner. You think it's Quinn? No, not really. I think it could be, but I don't think it is. Yeah. The IA chick? I know, it's probably not. Turtle affairs? <laughs> maybe the CI? Maybe the CI. But I don't, I don't know. That doesn't feel quite right either. So maybe it's somebody we haven't met yet. Okay. Maybe it's just some, some random sick fuck yeah. that's been stalking Freebo people. Stalking dead dead. around him. Yeah. I guess we'll see. What should people comment on? You can't ask them who they think it is because most of them have seen this already. How about this? What's the best soda pop Oh yeah, if to you, torture somebody if with? If you were to yeah. torture somebody, which soda would you use? Yeah. Oh, What's got the most fizz? I don't like it when water goes up my nose. Can you imagine? Carbonated, Carbonated water? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, let's know in the comments your soda of choice, right? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, yeah cool. like, comment, subscribe while you're down there. Um, and uh, Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos a week before they hit YouTube. So it's full-length commentaries and more. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. I cannot believe that this is happening. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. We're back watching some Dexter tonight. Season 3. We made the halfway point last time. Do you remember what was going on? They um, they thought... Oh, Miguel. Miguel. Miguel and Dexter are partners in crime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, serving justice on two different sides of the spectrum uh one with actual legal justice and the other with uh illegal well, uh, taking in your own hands kind of justice miguel kind of took it in his old hands getting that guy out of prison or he did into town so dexter could break him out so they could kill him yep All right and they did so where does that relationship go from here is dexter gonna take uh, it a step further next time or what what's going on yeah i mean i think they're gonna be pals they're gonna be pals and i think this is a good place for dexter to have a someone in in somebody that can protect him yeah, in his back pocket yeah. i don't think he'll ever let on how much killing he actually does yeah. 
to Miguel, but it's interesting. Yeah. He'll confess it. You remember that Bay Harbor butcher guy? Yeah. yeah that, that was me. <laughs> yeah. right? I don't you don't think, think that's going to happen? I don't think no. so. All right. I think we should jump right should into it. Should we jump it. right in? Yeah. Let's do it. First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're going to be watching more Dexter and some Lost and some other awesome movies. So yeah. come Lots hang out stuff. with us. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all those videos a week before they hit YouTube. As well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Dexter Season 3. Here we go. Dad, you need to throw up again? Oh, a dream. How long do you done in here? Not long. Great. I'll wait. Look at that slice of yours. <laughs> Nightmare? Not sure. You ever have those dreams when you're exposed? All the time. I show up at school bottomless. <laughs> Body parts out in the open, exactly. <laughs> I need a head count so we can pick a venue and give a budget to the caterer. Let's see, Deb, Masuka, Miguel. Angel. Miguel, he's a friend. See, you're on a roll. Just make sure you get names, addresses, spouses, and plus ones. This is the room, Dexter. The room I'm gonna die in. The sooner the better. Yeah, it's not a bad room to die in, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. It's got wallpaper. It's early retirement with benefits. You and you won't be able to do better. Listen to your PBA rep, will you? And keep the Prado name out of the papers, right? You really want to put Sada and the kids through all that? He'll get some sort of cush security job. He'll be fine. We're going to go hit something hard. We are. At the driving range. Golf. Right. Yeah, I'll meet you there. <laughs> So what, you and the uh, ADA, you're, you're pals now? Yeah, we are. Kiss ass. Another crack like that and you're off the list. Off the wedding list. <laughs> Should I invite Quinn? He's so tan. First, someone loan Fuebo some money. Are you gonna bring a date to the wedding? I don't know, Dex. I might be too busy picking up pieces of Anton's skin to even be there. <laughs> so you're a maybe? Morgan. Right, City pays for the tree trimming, but not the cleanup. We all can't live in high-class neighborhoods, Morgan. You led that animal here, right here to my only baby. Wendell is gone because of you. He's gone. <laughs> Who's a Skinner? I don't know. Albert Chung. Me knocking an old lady down some stairs. And he did it all in his socks. How do you remember that? It wasn't even a homicide. Chung is Asian, bro. He makes us all look bad. <laughs> or to not leave shoe prints. So he leaves sock prints. Freaking moron. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Albert Chung. <laughs> There's a lot of wrong in the world, Dex. Just ask Lisa Morton's parents. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Blood-sucking, soulless defense attorney, Ellen Wolf. Chung wasn't the first evil f that she put back on the streets. The body count is piling up. Let me show you some files. No pressure. Just uh, research. And Miguel is coming unhinged. He likes having somebody doing his dirty work. He doesn't have a code. Yeah. Another month of struggling to braid. <laughs> I'm shitting myself. I'm sorry. He's gonna extend his code to mercy kill her. You're not Catholic. No. I'm definitely not Catholic. Help me. Please. She couldn't have asked a better person. Taking lives is what I do. But never should Dex do it? Yeah, I think so. How? He has tranquilizer. Enough of that would kill her. Overdoser? Yeah. I imagine it'd be pretty painless that way, too. The list. You need my list. ASAP. <laughs> the quarter's on there. 
I mean, I went through the same thing with Dexter. He was disappearing, acting weird. What happened? He was cheating on you. <laughs> Do you call Miguel Prado a bad guy while representing someone like that? It's not my job to judge, Maria. Well, you're certainly judging Miguel. And if he ever gets arrested, I will defend him, too. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> He's a horrible guy until he until he employs me, and then I do whatever he can for him. Money. Best man always hooks up with the maid of honor. The maid of honor is Rita's daughter. She's ten. Masuka's your best man. <laughs> I uh, had... are you asking Batista? Because I'd be honored, Emma. Um, uh, I don't. Your best man is Deb. <laughs> well, what about ushers? <laughs> Compromise an investigation for personal reasons. Never. Never. <laughs> no, never. He wants me to see how bad Ellen Wolf really is. Mm -hmm. This is me. It won't hold up. You do know what odds are. <laughs> I think we all know how easy it is to plant evidence, and, well, you look the time. <laughs> do I see sheets of plastic in your future? <laughs> Ellen. No kid yourself. You might as well be walking the street the way you make a living. Okay, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one I want to invite. You're inviting me to a wedding? Maybe you don't get the concept of friends. It's not a date. It's it's a plus one. This isn't some kind of weird end run, is it? Make me see how sensitive you really are. I'm not all that sensitive. Yeah, yeah. you are. Oh. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Damn women. Uh. We have no idea what we want. If you help me die, you'll be like him. Your brother, Brian Moser. Come on. It's all right, Dexter. I'll take it to my grave. A cop's dead because Quinn cut all the wrong corners. I came to you for help to get him out of circulation. You refused. Next dead cop's on you. She's pretty dramatic. Who do you think, uh, right, Quinn or her? Well, I think the IA's probably right, but... Things haven't gotten any better. Worse. After I confronted him. Oops. And it should be personal for you, too. That's my friend. I'm asking you to do this for me. Sorry, no. What the fuck you! She's fucking with my life! I'm gonna go. I've never been great at conflict resolution. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely obsessed with someone, but there's no affair. And there's not going to be one either. What? I'm confusing my metaphor. <laughs> You're a great friend. The problem's his. Well, either way, like. She's getting milk and pickles out. Time for a shake. Pickle shake. Mmm. <laughs> the list, right? Hey, that's a plus one. Okay. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like you. That, that, that's called racism, buddy, so don't even... Oh, s***. <laughs> he does look like me. <laughs> Sarge. We've been looking down at the bodies, but no one has been looking up. How much caffeine have you had? A metric ton. <laughs> Javier Garza, I'm looking through it. All the trees have been pruned recently, right? And guess what I found? Trim trees. No, I didn't find shit. <laughs> I didn't find Deb, Angel Plus One, Vince, Maria LaGuardia, Donut Guy? I see him every day. You don't know his name. He's not invited. <laughs> well, you'd be a lot safer in Chicago. I don't want to go without talking to you first. I want to say thanks, you know, for giving me the heads up. I do get free long distance. You could have called me from Chicago. <laughs> She should be asking him who trims his f trees. <laughs> when we first met, 
I usually don't take no for an answer. That's kind of a button with you, isn't it? <laughs> Am I really a good friend? Miguel thinks so. Rita? Camilla? Don't I die? <laughs> Maybe with practice? Hey, you want to be my best man? Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm doing a good thing, aren't I? And why does it feel so bad? I want you to know that you were right about my brother. There's something else. Is mercy, but only for a friend. Ugh. What? Hmm. Pulling on your heartstrings there? Oh yeah, always. She said it's good and he killed her his brother. Yeah. So what do you think's going on? Some sort of tree trimmer. Skinning all these people. Mm-hmm. Miguel just keeps surprising me. Yeah. I thought he was off his rocker, he off the deep end. Anything? But yeah, yeah, I think Dexter roped him back in, which is crazy. Dexter realizes that sometimes death is more than just necessary, but... Mm -hmm. So where do we go from here? On to the next episode. On to the next episode. Yeah. Let's watch the next episode of Dexter. You drop a pebble into a pond and the ripples radiate outwards, touching and affecting everything. What kind of, what kind of pizza, but purchased pizza isn't cut on its own. Have you ever had a delivery pizza that wasn't cut? It's just cheesy bread. It's just cheese. Cheese pizza. Not cut. It's weird. No! Oh! No way it's not a foul, man! And there he goes. Uh, I was definitely wrong what that guy did. <laughs> You're clearly not a sports fan, are you? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Ah, uh, boundaries. <laughs> Yeah, it's encrypted. Should I know him? Not yet. Well, hopefully you will. This was from maybe five years ago. So here it comes. Miguel wants me to kill him. I don't want you to kill him. No? I want to do it. You? I've let you do all of the heavy lifting so far. Now it's my turn. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Oh, jeez. Mm, no. Not a good idea. Just, uh, think about it. No, Dexter. Don't think about it. I'm with Harry. You're making that up. I'm hurt that you would even think that. <laughs> Cody, you need a haircut. Let's see, four, five, six more months till she delivers. Rita, are you okay? No. It's not like you can pick up the DJ. Last time I got into your car, your radio was tuned to marching music. It helps me think. And it's not like <laughs> Just like the engagement ring you never gave me. You said you didn't want one. I don't want one. She wants one. Taking it to the next level. You know that now you've done the deed, she's going to be taking notes, making a checklist of your every move, see if your relationship material, right? That's not true. Wait, is it? Well, it's not like we write anything down. It's, it's just a mental, yeah, a mental <laughs> list. <laughs> It's so true, though. <laughs> what was my list? You actually didn't check off any boxes on my list. Except for That's one. That's why I won. Yeah. Except for one, that you were kind. Oh, like, okay. What other list? What other check boxes did you have? I'm just teasing. I don't get any paychecks. Quinn always pays me in cash. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just heard a love song on the radio that reminded me of you. Oh, that's sweet. And it made me really angry. <laughs> oh. So have you gotten the wedding bands yet? I'm still doing my research, but I'm on it. <sighs> I gotta go. Man, I don't miss pregnant you at all. I wasn't like that. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't that bad. I was just bitchy because I was uncomfortable the whole time. <laughs> 
Yeah. Wedding rings and nuclear fission are like my secret specialties. <laughs> She's such a smart ass. You say anything more about my brother and I will kick your f***ing nuts down your throat. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I'm... <laughs> so, hey. So you can just string him along as long as you want to. What are you getting so upset about? I mean, what, are you in love with the guy? No, I'm not in love with him. But you're sleeping with him. That is? Sleeping with an informant? I mean, it's that kind of judgment will screw up your career. He's not an informant. You just said it. But you didn't know. Either way, makes you look stupid. No, you don't get to lecture me, you <laughs> asshole. What a dick. I don't want Miguel to see how easy this is for me. Uh, you, you want me to try? I got it. You know, it takes me two days to get a search warrant, then another day to catalog evidence, and then a week before I can get the lab results. This is definitely the way to go. Yeah. I asked him for menu suggestions. Do you know what he says? I don't know. Steak. That's really great. We'll, we'll start with a steak appetizer, and then, of course, it'll all be topped off by a steak cake. Rita. She's losing her for no reason. Why don't you stuff for a while, and, and I'll... Do the addresses. Dexter has four friends. How many envelopes could they be sending out? <laughs> it's all her friends, apparently. You're free. Well, yeah, ever since Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> we can't exactly load up the cart with axes and machetes now, can we? Exactly right. So, um, have you given any thought as to how you want to do this? What do you suggest? I'm going to put together a starter kit for you. <laughs> Like into this, like oh great, I get to teach somebody how to kill people now. He's got to get him some out outfit too. Yeah. Right? Had the old navy get him some cargo pants. Yeah. Hey, you're getting better. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> how about a foot massage with those big gorgeous hands of yours? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Nothing shy about you, huh? No. Well, no shit. The secret to long life and happiness is, well, chocolate. Sleeping and around. Flirting with young, hopefully <laughs> hungry <laughs> men. I tell Miguel to be inconspicuous, and what does he do? He shows up looking like the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> close the game, close the game. Good D. Buenas noches, patrón. Hey, who's that guy? Uh, I don't know, some guy. How do you know him? I don't. Dex, sometimes people recognize me too. Yeah, did you not consider the fact that he's a very well-known person? <laughs> cover of Florida Magazine yeah. or something like that? <laughs> Musicians, you are sleeping until noon, and I'm okay with that. Okay. Or somebody killed him, skinned him. Or he's off skinning somebody else. You know, Deb likes him. Yeah. I don't think he's skinned anyone, but <laughs> I don't think it's him. Hey, what do you know about buying women jewelry? Look, I'll meet you at that place on 2nd Street at 10 o'clock, okay? He's like, super. <laughs> she said she didn't want one. Oh my god, you just get dumber every day. How do you survive <laughs> in this world? Of course she yeah. wants one. Yeah. She How wants am I supposed one. to know that? And Dex, size matters. I could help him. <laughs> what? I designed yours. You did a great job. So great, I hardly wear it. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I love it. It pokes me. <laughs> and this hypothetical guy starts having sex with this hypothetical girl. <laughs> hypothetical sex? Real sex. <laughs> Really real sex. Butt stuff. <laughs> so I'm wondering, is it possible if Mr. Hypothetical never really was all that into this girl and he was just getting it on to, I don't know, pass the time or... or... Sounds perfectly reasonable to me. What the f*** do yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, not the answer that she was one. looking for. I had to go sit in a hot car and wait for a suspect. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, Anton. What the f call me? Maybe he's dead, Deb. Leave a message. 
Hello, Barber. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Sergeant Angel Batista. Angel to you. <laughs> Why is he being so formal? How are you? <laughs> Good. I hope you wish things made up to you. In. <laughs> the darkness inside of you. I understand. I, I just want to let some of mine out too. I know you understand that. Senor King will be very disappointed to hear you're calling him a liar. No! Please! What are you so afraid of, Mario? Please. Send me back to Nicaragua. Alone? See? Si. Yes. Alone. Hello? Who was it? Uh, me. I was checking to see if my phone was working. <laughs> Barbara never called me back. She brought in dinner. Barbara. You got my message. Yep. Been listening to it all day. Makes me laugh every time. <laughs> it's pretty bad, huh? Um, the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> pathetic. Oh, good. He's not dead? Oh, no, he is dead. Did they finish already? They never even started. What She's do you mean? Dead. Where's Anton? He never showed. Why? Oye, chiquitico. What the f***? He's a big guy. Good thing there's two of them there. You ready? I am. Thank you. Thank you for this. For letting me in. Showing me the way. I cannot believe that this is happening. <laughs> Who are we're justice. They have a nickname now. <laughs> How is it? Up? We're the debt collectors. <laughs> the moment of truth. Can Miguel go through with it? Can he step out of the cocoon and fly? He's like, hey man, you okay? <laughs> How do you feel? Fantastic. Not a good idea. Don't take trophies. Turn the lights on. Yep. The Skinner's been here. You've set something in motion here. Everything Miguel does from now on is connected to you. It was too much for me to bear. I hope you're a stronger man. Yeah, what if Miguel can't stay within the code, mm -hmm. right? I go crazy when I'm pregnant. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> That's not true. It's like I have this monster living inside of me and I don't know how to control it. He could show you how to control it. No, no. <laughs> Maybe I can help you out with that one. <laughs> A different kind of monster. <laughs> it's been said that a butterfly can flap its wings in Brazil and set off a storm in Florida. I'm taking the chance. That's not entirely true. Oh, no, true. he's going to kill Ellen. Oh, God. He got a taste of it that fast and was like, yeah, I need to kill more people. 
You think that's what it is? Yep. Or is he having an affair? No. No? No, he's definitely not having an affair with her. He's going to kill her. With her to kill her? He's going to kill her. He's got blood simple. Yeah. What's going on with Anton and the, the Skinner? You think he's captured by the Skinner Oh, or yeah, dead? I think he's probably dead, yeah. yeah. Deb's going to feel like <laughs> Deb's got to just stop dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like every person she dates dies. Yeah. So where do we go from here? What's next? We've got four episodes left this yeah, season. Yeah, hopefully they'll wrap up the Miguel thing. Oh, I don't know how that's going to work. Hopefully, I mean, they're going to catch the Skinner, obviously, but yeah. hopefully, bef- ideally before Anton dies, but I think it's too late. So. Yeah. So what does Dexter do about all this? I imagine Miguel does kill Ellen. He eventually kills Miguel. You think so? I hate to say it, but I think Dexter will see that as probably the only option to stop him. Yeah. That's going to suck. It's his only friend. Yeah, it's the best man at his wedding, too. Yeah. Do you think Miguel's the uh, best choice for Dexter's best man? No, no. Deb should be his best Deb? man. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't Deb be the bridesmaid? Yeah, but... No. No? No, because... Do you think Deb wants to be the best man? Yeah, she would be honored, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not Masuka or Angel? No. No? They don't know Dexter. Okay. Deb's the only one that really cares about him, yeah. you know? All right. Well, maybe we should ask the comments. What do you guys think? Who should Dexter's best man be? Should it be Miguel? Or should it be like Masuka? Or Angel? Or Deb? Or Quinn? Or Donut Guy. Let us know in the comments who Probably you think donut Dexter's guy. best man should be. Right? Probably Donut Guy. Donut Guy. Yeah. Right? While you're down there, hit the like button. Come back and watch the next couple episodes with us. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to those episodes a week before they hit YouTube. As well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. See ya. On back to you, me, and the TV. It's time for more Dexter, season three. Where were we when we left off? Deb's boyfriend is missing. Yeah. And they know that it's related to the people that clean the, the trees. Because the trees were clean, right? Yeah. But one can assume, right? Yeah, but the, the Skinner person is definitely connected to the tree cleaning yeah. situation. Uh, they thought they knew what guy it was but it turns out it might be that boss the guy's that guy's boss so mm-hmm. guess we'll see yeah. what else is going on in the world of dexter miguel something about miguel uh he killed killed somebody and then he's trying and then it made it like a little bit of a cliffhanger looks like he was maybe going to be killing the ellen wolf, ellen wolf lady yeah yep. i guess we'll see if that actually happened or um or what yeah Well, should we jump right in? Might as well, yeah. Uh, Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Come hang out with us. We're going to finish out Dexter here pretty soon. Yeah. Well, season three at least. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot more seasons to go. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos on YouTube a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Dexter, season three. When you've been married as long as we have, you know, when your husband's lying. Something to look forward to. Well, maybe Dexter knows where he went. I'll just leave. He's so good with awkward situations. <laughs> he could have, like, said something reassuring, like, no, he's definitely not cheating on you. Like, I feel like I would know if he was cheating on you. He didn't do that, I though. Know. I feel real, like, maybe for the first time in my life. I know what you mean. If we're thinking about continuing these extracurricular activities... Absolutely. You need to work on your alibis. Still stop by this morning, wondering where you've been. I went over to Jack's hideaway over on 57th. I was, like, so wired. The next thing I know, the sun was coming out. 
Sylvia said Miguel got home an hour ago. Did he just lie? Oh yeah, he's good at lying. How long do you think he can hold out? Well, the Emmy's report on the other victims suggests the Skinner starts slow, probably to build fear. Anton's a big guy, a lot of skin. <laughs> That's meant to be comforting. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say, that's super comforting. <laughs> Something because even if we nab King, we got nothing to hold him on past today. A day can save a lot of skin. Hopefully he's making like a onesie or something. Onesie out of skin? Yeah. Oh, ouchie. If, if I knew what Freebolt was, I'd tell you. I know where he is. I can show you. I can show you. This is about respect. This cut will uh, have only one hour. When I return, there'll be no rest. Use the time to think about the skin you have left to lose. Jesus. That's brutal. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you screening your calls? Ellen? How'd you miss the motion hearing this morning? You don't have to keep on checking on me. Yeah, I know. I'm just, uh... Oh, yeah, he does. Because I've been coming up with some more, uh, projects. Another kill so soon? I can't. I gotta keep an eye on the situation here. Just because you're the best. Aww. Hey, hey, get a room. Actually, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Masuka. What a sick You got a second? He's like, lay off my chick. Seriously, she's like the Wikipedia of perv. <laughs> I gotta find me a girlfriend from Vice. <laughs> Wikipedia of perv. <laughs> I moved to this country for its amazing liberties. I know my rights. Great. He's like smooth. He's very calm. He's definitely a psychopath. As if the skinning skin didn't, people, because didn't, didn't already give it away. To our skin off. How about Anton when you bashed him over the goddamn head? Morgan, you want a coffee? Aren't you? You're just a little good cop, bad cop. It's fine. It's normal. Well, you should trust your instincts on this one. Just one of your creepy insights. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's just like me. He's Dexter weird. I'd say disrespect is high on his list of violations. Yeah. Maybe if you came at him with deference. Blood. Damn it. No, Miguel wouldn't do this. We agreed Ellen Wolf is innocent. Hello. Hey. It's just blood. There's no body. He wouldn't even know what to do with one. I never taught him how to dispose. Yeah, oh. The cemetery. Good thinking. Think she's dead? Oh yeah, for sure. I like honest. You're an idiot. That's honest. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wise person, aren't you? You have insight. What's the matter, little gardener, huh? You feel disrespected? You'll get used to it in prison because your foreman Mario is next door and he is spilling his guts. A great place to keep somebody who's gonna be screaming a lot, huh? I was thinking about Anton. You ought to try it sometime. I want to find him just as bad as you do. Well, probably not just as bad, but. <laughs> <laughs> that blood might not even belong to Ellen. That's wishful thinking. Miguel really did it. And I taught him how. I guided him to this. Easier to accept it. Because there'll be plenty more where Ellen came from. No, there won't. Hey, Miguel, is it too late to grab that lunch? 
Oh no. Well, the law can't get him. You and I can. In fact, I can have this guy out on the streets in a few hours. Apparently, we have a different definition of that word. You got rid of her because she got in your way. And I abused your trust. A trust, by the way, that wasn't easy to earn. That's not lost on me. You also did a piss poor job of cleaning up after yourselves, too. We're gonna disagree. And when we do, we just go our own way. No, no more individual projects. Look, I'm a big boy. I know what I'm doing. Eventually, you're gonna trust that, too. I'll see you over at the precinct. He thinks he's untouchable. He's not. It's time he learned that. He's gonna get him caught. He's gonna uncover her so that they find her body there. They look at him and see a defender of truth, justice, and the American way. I see a man about to learn a hard lesson. We really need your help on this one. And you do owe us for getting Ramon off. I do. But I, I... You have your ways, Miguel. You've bent rules before, getting people lost in the system. He doesn't want him lost in the system. He wants him to be free so that he can kill him. Anton? A female at the cemetery. You're a wise person, aren't you? You're being facetious. No, no. You have insight. I'd be a fool not to follow your lead. Is this real? I should go make a statement to the press. I wouldn't want any. He told that to Rita earlier. Mm -hmm. He's just faking it. Right? Maybe. He's got such a big ego that he's like, these people are f***ing idiots. I'm just going to do what I want and tell them what they want to hear. Right? Which one? I'm more in the mood for steak. <laughs> no, this is for the wedding cake. Apparently, I'm a very wise person. According to Miguel, he came to the open house I was sitting for sale. He said he thinks I could... Save his life. Save his life. Every word. Bull mm -hmm. When did he start lying? With Ellen? Before her? I have to look at some blood. <laughs> Evidence for a crime. Sure, he gave him... didn't have actual blood on it. Or not the victim's blood on it anyways, right? And it's supposed to turn purple, if it's blood? Or is he um, just taking a sample of it? Yeah, he's taking a sample. Morgan, we're not skinning Mario. <laughs> Wanna share with the whole class? No, just you. I need a partner. What's she doing? I don't know, but why wouldn't somebody just tail tail the king guy. What? Los Arboles. Oh no. <sighs> then that's it. I'm sorry. Wait! Yeah, I mean, obviously they planted that there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raul. <laughs> even walked there, just in case they were tailing him, huh? Morgan, get out of the way! That door's pretty little. Oh, he just didn't give a shit about the car. Um, um. You can't get away from me that easily. And the results are? Bovine. Yep, real nice. Saw that quickly? Mm-hmm. I can't call home. There's too much silence. She says that she's in the quietest room I've ever heard. <laughs> you got me. I'm right here. Oh, it's gonna be... Real bummer when uh, when he goes missing too. 
He's been using me the whole time. I didn't create a monster, I was used by one. He used me. Oh no. Nine holes tomorrow? I thought that was actually happening for a second. I was like, oh my god, Dexter. Today, I feel something real. What does he feel? Rage? I think uh, Miguel's not going to be his best man anymore. <laughs> kind of have a feeling that's not going to work out. <laughs> right? All right, so where do we go from here? Oh, he's going to kill Miguel. I just don't know how. Man, I... The, yep. Definitely probably going to kill him. Yeah. This show's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So, uh, they saved Anton. Mm-hmm. But the Skinner's still alive. I think they're going to... Snag him somehow? Or do you think he's going to head back to Nicaragua or somewhere? I don't know. Hopefully they find him. Yeah. Hopefully they're able to find him. Head back to his homeland? Mm-hmm. Although I'm, I'm not sure Nicaragua, as a like being there, would be better than prison. Yeah. Who knows? Should we continue? Uh, yeah. Let's, right, let's continue. Let's watch the next episode of Dexter. Great song. Go your own way. Just what I ordered. Feign civility with a heaping side of betrayal. It's becoming more and more clear that I'm going to have to deal with Miguel. They're both just faking it so well, right? So much for option two. He won't just let our partnership dissolve. No. He's trying to get me under his thumb, and he's using Rita to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's trying to control everybody in this situation here. It's working. What's option three here? Which leaves option three. Get him under my thumb and keep him there. Hmm. Again. Do we have to serve food at the wedding? <laughs> oh, well, I hope she was good. No, she was a champ. She almost made it through Saw 1 and 2. I'm kidding. <laughs> she was great. We bonded. Does this mean you're plus one for the wedding? Uh, we haven't really... <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, Dexter. <laughs> Anton, wake up! Mm. You gotta go. Penguins. Oh. It's just seven thirty. I thought you didn't have to be at work until. Your protective detail. Yeah. You're gonna think that we slept together. We have to. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I know, but if they tell my bosses, I'm gonna get a <laughs> load of. Shit. Really? I gotta get in the shower, so I'll call you later, okay? Yeah. Okay. He's like Jesus. <laughs> We're also getting a search warrant. We're looking for a platinum wedding ring. Uh, I've already cataloged one wedding ring into evidence. Well, she wore two. Oh, he took a trophy. Fast. I'm taking donations for Dexter Morgan's bachelor party. Produced and directed by Vince Musuka, Vince Musuka Production. Dig deep now. I'm gonna have Sergeant Copperfield, Jojo the Lesbo Go Go, Maureen the Limber <laughs> Mermaid, and her even more limber friend, Nadia the Russian Gymnast. We're in the middle of two big investigations. Yeah, tell me about it. It's hard to get people focused on no, this shindig. What I mean is that maybe you should keep the party <laughs> low key. I mean, if my show does not make people vomit, and have an erection at the same time, then I've let my audience down. <laughs> Stripper, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a graphic <laughs> vomit and have an erection. Oh. Cover for me. Is everything okay? No. It's all about strategy. Outmaneuvering the opposition, bending him to your will. And that's what you want? That's what I want game over I don't mean that's not gonna last game over not so much in there what do we know not much the meds for the pain have are pretty blurry and she got her ass kicked gonna try to run DNA on the keys we're all over this thanks sergeant this down to the lab that key had some blood on it you think that key had blood on it? Uh, Might take a day or two for sequencing. Uh, greasing. I mean, it's, it's a priority. Wait, is this Ellen Wolf or the Skinner? There's no case number. Uh, it's my eyes only. Your eyes only. Why wouldn't he just want it to be part of their case investigation? Because I think Angel wants to protect his girl and take care of it himself. 
two calls were routed through a cell phone tower a block away from her house. You were there. All right! I have a fiance. Yes, I went to her place, but she didn't answer the door. To God. Not much of a suspect. Not much of a witness. I feel like Cinderella, except for the whole Disney virgin thing. No, oh, don't worry. No one will know Prince Charming knocked you up before the ball. <laughs> no one will care. Platinum Enterprises. It's a full service operation. Party boat, food, alcohol. One phone call and you're done. Ask for Tammy. But they don't have erotic clowns, though. Right. <laughs> Do they make people vomit while having erections? <laughs> That's all Masuka needs. Deb told me that was a clerical error. So that was you? Yeah. I assume she told you. God damn it, will you just stop? This punk ass deserved it. You can't just walk into a police station and punch a cop. Oh, here you <laughs> are standing up for him. I am not the enemy here. Deborah, you lied to me. Clerical air on my ass. You're bleeding. You're gonna need new stitches. Also, there was patches taken off of his back. They didn't stitch that up. <laughs> Maybe they sewed his skin back on because it was laying around. I don't think though. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> He's just like really going full force toward asshole, right? Like just trying to hit every asshole stick on the way down this this hill that he's sliding down, right? Oh man, I don't know what came over me. I'm... It's okay. It's okay. It's Sylvia. Oh, Dexter. Hey, Lieutenant, I am sorry to show up unannounced. Miguel. Again, I'm sorry to interrupt. How many people know where their bosses live? In Miami, <laughs> right? I don't know. Dexter knows. I need to sit down. I told Sylvia about Miguel and LaGuerta. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so, she thinks Miguel is at LaGuerta's. Oh yeah, so that's actually helpful. You'll probably be a lot better at seeing through his bull than I was. Being a detective and all. Good luck. So, come on, baby. Don't touch me. I'm done. So, get out of my life. Nope. It's gonna hop in his big, huge black SUV and take off with those huge halogen lights. And... Yeah, now she's now she's smelling something. Her detective <laughs> senses tingling. Something's now. a little stinky over here. Cops don't come any cleaner than Deb. Yeah, huh? Like uh, sleeping with a CI? Because it's all here in this surveillance report for what's Oops. his name? This don't look so good. But oh, I'm going to keep a close eye on it. Except for he's not a CI, so. He has no idea what door he just opened. Mr. Dexter. Unless. Unless they're me. So he's gonna take it so that he can plant it on him later? Why not just leave it? Hmm. Are you Vince? Yeah. I'm Tammy Okama. Platinum Enterprises, may I sit? Yeah, sure. You're Tammy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was expecting someone... Trashy? Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> We have any number of themes you can choose from. Well, uh, oh, yeah, she is Masuka's type, right? You have such nice eyes, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about Detective Gianna. How is she? What are you doing? Okay. No concussion. I know how hard it must have been to see her like that. I know what it is to want to rebalance an unbalanced world, but it's just unbalanced, Angel, and that's it. Okay. Okay. So Angel's like, what the f*** are you talking about, man? <laughs> well, at least I didn't teach him how to get away with murder. I'm learning. Mm. The cleaner's receipt, does that mean he's got the shirt, too? 
Must be. Oh no, he dropped off the bovine shoe. Yeah, he's having Miguel pick it up so that he knows that Dexter knows that I know that you know that I know that. <laughs> Devin Potts. Happy you. It makes me feel how you're supposed to feel when you're with the right person. You know? Is that crazy? That was stupid. God. You were useless. <laughs> Love you anyway. Is he gonna like try and throw Dexter off this Ranger. roof? I am the last person you wanna f with because I will f you back in ways you never even imagined. Yeah, I believe him, right? <laughs> wow, I didn't get it before, Miguel, but you can't be reasoned with, guilted, controlled. This whole back and forth game for leverage is pointless. That's right. Yeah. I'll do what I want. When I want, to whomever I want, count on it. Thank you. Who was watching? Lagorda? Or was nobody watching? It was just a weird angle. You got a good look at him. Yes. How do I know this is not a trap? Oye, if I wanted you in jail, I wouldn't have let you loose in the first place. Okay? He's gonna be the next. Skinner victim. Oh, got ourselves a little serial killer love triangle going on here. Sure seems like that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Miguel is just. So how does this all end? Is Dexter gonna lose a little piece of skin? I think Dexter might be skinned a little bit. I think Miguel will be dead. Dexter will be skinned. A little, but not to death, obviously, because there's more seasons of this. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. What a cluster. F this is intense. Yeah. So what's going to happen on the bachelor party? I'm guessing it doesn't happen. Is <laughs> Dexter goes missing? Yeah. I'm guessing they're going to spend the bachelor party looking for Dexter. All right. What about Deb and Anton? Do you think they're going to stay together? I hope so, in a way... For Deb, because if she really likes him, yeah. and the conflict of interest is... Well, he's not really a CI, though. He's maybe Dexter books. will somehow find a way to kill the Skinner, yeah. and then it won't even really matter. There won't be a... There won't be a guy to catch. case, yeah. right? Won't be anybody to prosecute. Yeah. So what should people comment on? Bachelor parties? Yeah. yeah. Chocolate or hazelnut cake? I think I would have gone with the chocolate myself. Um, would you want Masuka to... I mean, he, the, he'd make it weird, the for sure. The scheduler, the organizer, the party planner for your bachelor party. Yeah. With the with the promise that he will make you vomit and have an erection all at the same time. Yeah. Let us know. Would you want to go partying with Masuka? Is that the kind of yeah. thing that you're into? <laughs> Let us know in the comments <laughs> below, right? Yeah, also, while you're down there, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Come back in a couple days because we're going to be watching the rest of Dexter. Mm -hmm. Uh, to finish out season three, so don't miss it. Yeah. If you want early access, check out our Patreon link down below. Early access, full length commentaries, and more. Links down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. like sweating and goosebumpy cold. <laughs> I don't know why. Feeling so uncomfortable about this storyline right now. I got the goosebumps all over. <laughs>
I have a feeling they're not going to make it to the bachelorette party or the bachelor party. So how does this all end? It's time for the finale. I think Dexter gets kidnapped. He finds a way out somehow. He kills Miguel. All right. I don't feel like there's any other option. Okay. Because they can't kill Dexter. So. Well, should we find out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump right in. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, as well as full-end commentaries and more. The link's down below. Let's watch Dexter. So this is how it ends. Me bound in the trunk of a car. Yeah, I literally forgot he got kidnapped. <laughs> Such an idiot. Dexter. I know I only have myself to blame. I don't blame you for wanting a friend. Oh, he thinks it's his brother that he's going to be shocked when it's the Skinner. <laughs> I should have killed Miguel when I had the chance. You still can, Dexter. Don't give up. That a boy. Oh! Oh, what is this? You're back to the party, <laughs> I did not see that coming, right? Uh, Holy uh, Oh, I didn't see that coming at all. Holy <laughs> Your eyes are already swollen. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I don't know. <laughs> you hilarious! <laughs> right now, time to put on my party face. It's a lot of tits. <laughs> Lots of tits. Gotta love Showtime. You can put them right there on TV. They're just all, all of them are big and fake. <laughs> yeah, right? They like, they're like, obviously so fake know, boobs. We're here to uh, celebrate the impending marriage of our dear friend Dexter. Let's go! It's gonna be a I know, because my eyes keep darting <laughs> straight to boobs, right? <laughs> and for a smart guy, sometimes he doesn't have the good sense that God gave little chickens. <laughs> I mean, like this donut thing. What's up with that? I mean, why don't you just uh, stab a pal in the ventricle, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a d <laughs> I want to say a few words about friendship. Oh, jeez. I have learned so much from you about uh, trust. Bearing the hatchet. Hey, to Dexter. I really did not see it. I thought for sure it was the Skinner, right? Like, oh my gosh. I actually forgot about it until he was in the trunk. <laughs> like five minutes ago. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I remember how this went now. Why? He's the one who threw his marriage vows out the window. And who does that? A man without a code. Exactly. So. What is that? Oh, it's a uh, hour by hour schedule for the day of. There's hair and makeup for me. Hey, caramba. Transportation, picture, ceremony. After last night, they all think we share a secret, but Miguel's the only one who knows mine. Like a Poor Masuka. Ow! What am I, the Morgan family punching bag? Thanks for not inviting me to Dexter's party. I know, but she's pissed about that. It was a bachelor that. party. Dongs and gongs required. <laughs> Unless you wanted to be talent, in which case... Gross, he's my brother. <laughs> not by blood. <laughs> Maybe I could kill him in his car. It has that big back seat. Let's re -canvas. Somebody saw something and we're going to find them. Hola, Miguel. Hey, listen. After that scene with Syl the other night, I think we should talk. What she want to talk about? She's going to try to get more information out of him. I just don't know what. Trust me. My needs are covered. That's sweet. And he's definitely the only one that doesn't seem hungover at all, Angel. Yeah. The killer Miguel Prado. That'll require some finesse. Mm. Got it. Miguel dies, people notice. Which means he can't just make him disappear. No, he needs to die. It needs to make it look like an accident or a. Oh, like making it look like an accident's easier. So tell him. I can't. I need to be with somebody who's got his together. 
somebody like Dad. Dad wasn't perfect, Dad. Yeah, well, he wasn't a drug user or a CI. Well, Anton's not a CI. Dad still wouldn't approve. Be surprised. What's that supposed to mean? He didn't break any laws. He didn't cheat on mom. No, oh, except for he did cheat on your mom. Who? A uh, CI? You always wanted to be like dad. Oh, that's so that's not nice. <laughs> Anton is here to go over his statement with you. You're the only one he trusts. Oh, well, it's really hard to find people that you trust these days. Dad, yeah. blow me. Blow me? <laughs> My sister never says that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deb has a way with words, you know? <laughs> Deb, I could hear it, you know, the sound of the blade cutting into me. And I remember thinking, that guy, screaming, he's gonna die. I took my wallet, my cell phone, cocksucker, and took my change. Your change? I feel like they need to go, like, have another personal minute not at the police station, right? Like, go have a drink or something. <laughs> Freezing sperm requires a vessel to be at least minus 200. What? I'm a donor. It's my way of giving back. God help the children. Hey, uh, <laughs> I wanted to run a background check. On who? Tammy Okama. She likes me. I mean, there's got to be something wrong with her, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think well, I thought you and Anton were... We're not, not anymore. So, uh, you want to you know, carpool? Yeah. What? High gas prices, you know. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said none yet. No cell phone reception. That's why George King took Anton's change to use that payphone. Good catch. Miguel probably thinks he's getting lucky. Looks like he's getting screwed. Oh, got my heart racing. <laughs> Think she got some? I hope so. Mmm, his tailgate's popped. Oh no, he's gonna see Dexter sitting there. Don't go there, Miguel. You start thinking, look where it is on to you, you'll decide to do very bad things to another innocent person. And I can't let that happen. I need you to run hair and fiber for me against all victims for the last 10 days. Who I trust to keep a confidence and the life results off the record. Well, keeping secrets is one of my strong suits, but I kind of got my head handed to me the last time I did some off the grid testing by you. Do you ever get a voice inside nagging at you? I'm aware of the phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. If you need something under the table, I'm your guy. That didn't come out right. <laughs> Season one of LaGuardia would have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna try and kill LaGuardia. Bad news. She's got a rap sheet. She ran the car into someone else over a parking space. Yeah. Big fine, anger management. I mean, she's got issues. So she's not out of my league. Such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a record. Yeah. I uh, found a gray hair. I was curious. Oh, dude. I've totally done that. You're bald. Jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Someone took a jungle cruise at Magic Kingdom. Jesus. 
scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Officer down, 931 Harbor Drive, requesting an ambulance. Also oh, the scalped him. <laughs> you found the hair analysis results. Sorry, I, you were out and they were just sitting there and I really needed to know what came back. You think Miguel has something to do with her murder? I found this sample in the back of his car. I told you this was complicated. <laughs> For a warrant, get evidence through proper channels, which will tip off Miguel and put LaGuardia in his crosshairs. He, she's already there for a while. Let Miguel think he got away with murder. It'll give you time to build a solid case. I got the goosebumps all over. <laughs> Take as long as you need. Thanks for your help, Dexter. Yeah. I'm like sweating and goosebumpy cold. <laughs> I don't know why. Feeling so uncomfortable about this storyline right now. I'm not. I mean, came out there long enough to pin Miguel's murder on him. He's trying to kill you, though. I didn't know if I should tell me. Yes, whenever you have an earth-shattering, ball-crushing mind of a secret, you should tell your sister. Or not, because she doesn't handle it very well. Quinn sort of asked if I would go as his date, but no, no. He said carpool. <laughs> That's different. On paper, he's a cop. Good career. Like that. Yeah, well. It's no, it's a bad thing. <laughs> Less than 12 hours, and it's a bad thing now to be like, is it like or their dad? In all the years I've known you, you've never let me down. You should be my best man. Duh. What? Miguel is your best man. He's not even a good man. I should have asked you in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought the best man was supposed to be a man. Such a man thing to think. <laughs> All the records you have on my dad's confidential informants. Your dad? Look, I know you have a lot of requests, but when he... But nothing. My dad stepped out on my mom. Would have cut off his dick if I could have. <laughs> I'll put a rush on it. Thank you. It's gonna open up a shit storm of worms. Did Camilla delete all of the Mosier files, though? Don't know. Well, not all of them, because Dexter saw them. Yeah, on sort of dokes. Yeah. Could I get a uh, turn down service, room 138? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Can I call you back on a landline? I'm okay. sorry, that's uh, my boss. Can you come back later? Oh, see. Gracias. I just don't think that that would happen. Slip through a 20. <laughs> That's why he's at the bar. Get Ramon blackout drunk so Miguel can claim he was here the whole time. Tonight's the night. Lieutenant, Dexter here. Hey, I came across something you'll be interested in. It kind of has to do with the whole Miguel Prado, Ellen Wolf thing you wanted me to look at. You're there. We should meet. Look, I'll be at the Rising Moon Cafe at 91st and Channel at 8 p.m. Uh, I'll try yourself. Got a boy. How do you get Maria out out of there? <sighs> Maybe she went and he was in there first. Rewound the message. Could be. <sighs> Don't chicken out. Don't chicken out. I know. I, I crossed the line here. I know. I, Don't let him talk his way out of it. It doesn't have to come to this. But it always does. Yeah, it has to. I had higher hopes for you. For us. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Swallowed your bullshit. It wasn't bullshit! <laughs> But where is the Skinner? I just want you to let me in. Why the f do I do that now? Because I know you. Next, I know you better than anyone else. Don't you know. chicken out. They deserved it. I'm not like them. You are. Admit it. I'm like you. 
No, 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 no. I know I'm a monster. I accept you. I accept you, Dexter, like a brother. I killed my brother. I killed yours, too. Uh-oh. What's God? Kill it about You think I'm done with you? You think this ends here? It doesn't! It does for you. you. Ah! Adios, amigo. But what about the Skinner? And what the f is his plan to do with him? Oh my god. <laughs> so. This was an intense episode. Yeah. Oh gosh. We got one left. How's it all unfold? I, 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 I think it's going to end with a cliffhanger. Think so? With Dexter and the Skinner. Oh god, I don't know. We've got to watch. Yeah. We don't have don't time. Have, we don't have time to talk. You have to no more. time to talk. No, we don't. On have time. to the next episode of Dexter. We got to wrap it up right now. It was quite the ligature mark. You can tell a lot about a person by the friends he keeps. And this is my best friend. They didn't close his eyes. They would have closed his eyes. Goodbye, Miguel. Don't f***ing touch my brother. Let go of my arm. God, he's gonna have to kill Ramon because Ramon's a psycho. Think Miguel told Ramon? I doubt it. I think Ramon just has the weird vibes that yeah. Dexter puts off. He's like dokes, right? He's lost two brothers. He doesn't know who to blame. Well, certainly not you. No. Certainly not me. <laughs> Why would he ever have a reason to blame him? <laughs> From your mother? Mm. She's not coming down. Let's hope the third one's the charm. What's that mean? <laughs> mm. And the kid? And the third kid is the charm. Uh, <laughs> no, he's been married before. <laughs> That's my loving mother. Did Rita just lie to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Darling Rita, once you were a dream and a prayer. Now our future is as bright as the sun glinting off the morning dew, and I vow that I will. Sounds like I'm marrying a unicorn. <laughs> Hiding spot, dude. <laughs> Better yet, get rid of him. Ugh. Drives me crazy. I have no intention of ignoring him. I'm just gonna frame him for Ellen Wolf's death. Paul Bennett wasn't her first husband. She was married before, at 16. Oh, jeez. Ending in a divorce six months later, an impetuous teen marriage. Which makes me her third husband, the charm. Because I was thinking maybe we'd spend it on adding another detective to our squad. Oh. Somebody who saved the life of a CI who ID'd our Skinner. Oh. <laughs> you? I put in the recommendation to Lieutenant LaGuerta. She's just got to sign the paperwork. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. LaGuerta's not the biggest fan. <laughs> The council has voted to name the freeway interchange near my house after Miguel Bravo. I drive that way every single day. He was a hero to some. Looks like I'm going to get my detective shield. Deborah, wow, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. That's good. That's good. I you should probably go. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Jorge. You slept with our key witness. The ADA's looking into it. Miguel Prado was. Before he was a victim, like. 
Disclosure, really, Sarge? Did you disclose that you met Gianna because you were out strolling for a hooker? Where did you hear that? I... She worked Vice. Where did you hear that? She knows a lot I of people know in Vice. In Vice. <laughs> I completely understand if you want to pursue a case against me. As cases go, laying you out for thinking with your d is pretty low on my list of priorities. <laughs> There's something else you should hear from me instead of the grapevine. Angel, how, how dark of a time was this? <laughs> Regarding my recommendation of Deborah Morgan for detective. She was sleeping with the CI before he was a witness and a victim, so I don't understand how the conflict of interest is that intense. Like, it's not he became that became a victim it. because she was sleeping with him. Kind of. Kind of. Moment of truth. Stop or get a ticket, so. Like he's okay enough to walk away until I get a hold of him. There was somebody sitting in that car, though. Yeah, yeah. the other car the guy hit. No, there, there, was, there was a guy sitting in the car with the door open. There was. You want me to rewind it? What kind of vows did you do the first time around? First time. Well, Paul and I just recited whatever the pastor said. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should put a bullet in your head in front of everybody so they can see what it's like to lose someone. Freeze. Uh, oh, uh, ah, oh, ah. Forget you'd be going to a, a dinner with a bunch of other f***ing cops. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you took down Ramon Prado last night. Again. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna eat that? Not anymore, thanks. <laughs> run fender bender involving a stolen car traffic enforcement caught the guy's face guess who they're sending a photo over right now safe and sound safe and sound i gotta learn how to tie a tie it's nothing you ever really teach a chick i feel like i should learn how to tie a tie Tomorrow is my wedding day. Oh no. His guard is down. Morgan. Glad you're here. I want to talk to you. I didn't know she was here. Did I say anything bad about her? <laughs> you're not the one she's going to ream. It seems the ADA has noticed that your personal and professional lives are colliding. Anton wasn't officially a CI when that happened. You go ahead. You take away my case. You take away my shield. I'm She's going to be nice to you, Deb. Don't ruin it. Ugh. Right? And there is no possible way that us being together is a mistake. Which means you're not sacrificing your personal life to work. Congratulations, Detective Morgan. You hold on to that personal life. It reminds us what's important. Cupcakes. <laughs> Such a familiar situation. Such an unfamiliar perspective. I forgive you. I've never seen you cry before. They're not my tears, Dex. They're yours. I know, but I've never, I've never felt this. You've never had a son before. You want to see him come into the world. Yes. To raise him with Rita. To watch him grow up. I've never wanted anything so much in my life. You had your flimsy excuses, finding Freebo, getting your money. But you know he's dead. You know there's no money. So really, you're just a killer. A monster. The stuff of nightmares. You are lying. You do know where he is. Miguel Prado, I'll tell you that. He wanted me dead, so he used you. It probably wasn't too hard. <laughs> you're a little single-minded. <clears throat> Let's hope you're this talkative once I get my tools. Yeah, I mean, don't, like, test the guy who's got you strapped to a fucking board here. A wolf would chew off its own paw. Its survival instinct is that fierce. 
so is mine. Youch. Oh, he just killed him. <laughs> going Jesus officer I scraped his skin off yeah well what goes around comes around why didn't you just stay though he could have just been like oh I must have been his next victim right nothing to be concerned about but he kind of had a little accident what happened wow you look <laughs> wow <laughs> you can't see her till a wedding it's bad luck I'm sorry it's okay I'm not angry why would I be it's not like you broke your hand on purpose. I'm just glad you Slow. <laughs> His facial expression and then nod, like, every time. <laughs> it's so funny. We all have secrets. And that way I'm just like everyone else. Sure, I'm still who I was, who I am. Question is, what do I become? There's so many blanks left to fill in. But right now, at this moment, I'm content, maybe even happy. And I have to admit, when all is said and done, life is good. That was a weird homage. <laughs> all right. A happy ending. A happy ending. <laughs> a happy ending to the season. I was hopeful for a happy ending. I just didn't know how they were going to actually do it. Yeah. What did you want him to do? I just, like, I don't know why he ran away from the scene, like, pretending like... I think he didn't want to be connected to the crime. Yeah, but he could have easily not been connected to the crime. It could have been random. I mean, the... he was friends with Miguel. Exactly. And uh, he was investigating murders. Or, I don't know. It could have been connected. I don't know. So Dexter's married now. Dexter's married. He's gonna be a daddy, yep. and he's excited about it now. Yep. That's good. Deb got her detective shield. Everything she ever wanted. Like, were, did they write the season thinking they weren't gonna get? Picked up yeah, for another it's season. The, it's the final. Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, it could have ended here. And it could have easily ended here. here. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure they were already renewed, though. Well, folks, this is the end of our... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're done watching Dexter for now. Because I just have a feeling it's nothing is going to end quite as well as this was wrapped up. Yeah. So. Yeah. so, the Skinner got skinned by asphalt there at the end. Yeah. Right? He had it coming. You thought it was going to be a cliffhanger? He was going to still be a large? I thought for sure yeah. it was going to end like... He kidnaps Dexter, but hmm. and then you know, cut to next season. Two part season. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, a lot of people are happy here. Uh, Batista's got his girl. Yeah, yeah, good for him. Even Masuka's got a girlfriend. It's weird. Deb but... got her shield and a boyfriend. Yeah. Dexter's married. I mean, yeah, that would have been a good storybook ending for the series, mm -hmm. but. We still got more to go through. Lucky for us, we've got five more seasons of this. And with a another on the way. Coming, yeah, right? a so ninth season coming. Where do we go from here, do you think? More murders to yeah. solve. More murders to commit. Like, each season's kind of been like a theme. Right? Him learning about his past. Yeah. Him figuring out who he is. Who he is. Yeah. This one is... Him becoming the family man. Right. right? Building a future. Yeah. What could the next season be? Yeah. I don't know. You do. Because oh, you've seen man. it. But I don't know. Well, we get to start season four now. All and right. a lot of people consider season four... To be the best season. To be the best I season I think I have, I have heard of course, a lot of people with comments. One and two are also debatable up there with a lot of people's favorite seasons. Yeah. So some people will say... Two one four. Some people will say four one two. Some people will say one four two. Right. So I'm in season for a fun. fun season. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. It's gonna All be right. great. So what should people comment on? Of these first three seasons, yeah. what's the order? Rank them. Yeah, rank your top three seasons mm -hmm. of the first three. We just finished with the wedding. Yeah. Oh, what did he do with Ellen's ring? What's he gonna do with that? He probably just threw it away. What, what's a good wedding question? What kind of dinner would you want to have at Dexter's wedding? Steak, salmon, it's dumb, salad. It's a dumb question. You don't have to answer that. What piece of the cake do you like? Do you like a corner piece, an edge piece, or a middle piece? Wedding cakes are round, typically. 
There's still an edge and a well, I guess everything's a corner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Come back in a couple days, we'll watch we'll start season four. Wow. That'll be Just great. Just around the corner. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access, as well as full length commentaries and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.